low. Too high, ma'am. Blood pressure. Too high. And his beta levels? Too high. James? Your son is extraordinarily gifted. Damn, where have I seen his face before? That's Richard Nolan, ma'am. He's with The Voice. Mr. Nolan? Richard, can you hear me? Where am I? You're in the Central Hospital. Can you open your eyes? I can't see anything. Don't worry. Your sight will return soon. A drone found you on the side of the M75. We'll begin with a sight test, and then I'll ask you a couple of questions. I'll create a glowing object in the room now. Do you see that? Try to concentrate your eyes on that object. Good. Again. Very good. Your sight will return to normal soon. We're gonna do some tests. Cognitive, emotional, memory, it won't take long. Do you know what date it is? Saturday, 11th of January, 2048. Very good. That's correct. I will now say a short sentence and then ask you a question about it. Ready? My eyes are blue, my hair is brown, my house is white. Which three colors did I mention? Blue... White and brown? Very good, that's right. Can you tell me what happened? What... What happened? My family... Where are they? You can't remember anything? I was... In a car? There was a tunnel. Give it time. You're in good physical health. You were very lucky, Richard. Now I'm going to reconnect a part of your AR system. Uh. Unpleasant, isn't it? Your eyes and your brain will have to get used to it again. Can you stand up? Please follow me to the table. Take the cube from the left side of the table. Make it glow yellow and place it on the right side of the table. Okay, we shall do one more test. Please follow me. Okay. Who is this? It's my son. Exactly. What's his name? James. Very good. Where is James? Is he here? You've already asked about your family. Just now. Don't you remember that? Where is he? It's just a test, Richard. James is a good kid. I love him. Of course you love him. You are his father. Do you get along well? Richard? He's a good kid. Do you know this person? That's... Yes? That's... Tracy? Excellent. Tell me about her. What do you mean? Tell me anything about your wife. A memory, a story. Anything. I know that we were... were in a cab. It was nighttime. 
We were joking around. I took Tracy's hand. Keep going. The onboard systems were malfunctioning. It, it got colder. The windows got foggy. I told her we were almost there. Okay. Do you know how long ago this was? What do you mean? This memory. How long ago was it? I don't know. What about this? Do you recognize this building? Yeah, that... that worked there. Excellent, Richard. What do you do there, exactly? I'm a specialist in... in... Oh, wait... I write about technology. Very good. And how would you describe your position on that matter? Do you have one? I'm a journalist. My position is the truth. Ah, that came fast. That's the standard line, right? You must say that all the time. Well, can I go back to work, Doctor? We'll wait and see. You suffer from amnistic confabulatory syndrome. Memory lapses, confusion, mood swings. But when you're home, you will start to feel better. You'll see. Okay, Richard. You're good to go. Uh, feel queasy. It'll go away. Your memory will come back probably within the next few hours. Perhaps not completely, but let's be patient. Well then, I wish you the best. So, I can go? Of course. You've been given neurostabilizers. If you have any problems, contact me. Okay, but I... I don't remember where... Oh, yes, of course. You live at the West Plaza, Mr. Nolan. The cab will take you home. The medic bot at the entrance will escort you downstairs. Good evening, sir. Follow me. I will escort you downstairs. This is a news flash from The Voice, your trusted source of news for Berlin and the Western world. There has been yet another bombing at one of Kurtz Robotics' production facilities. This has been the second attack within the last few days. In Nairobi, tensions remain high as fighting between Eastern and Western drone units continues in the mining region, destroying large amounts of natural resources. Scan required. Mars, our future. By being a Martian colonist on Red One, you are helping create a new world. Interested? A nano scan takes no more than two minutes. Start afresh. Decide the future. Be a pioneer. Tracy, James. Good evening, Richard. I'm Simon, your Base 5 Home Assistant. Today is January 11th, 2048. It is 7.33 p.m., room temperature 20 degrees Celsius. You have no more appointments today. Please forgive me. I powered down yesterday. What the hell? Is everything okay, sir? Can I bring you anything? Tracy! You have new cloud messages. Richard, are you there? 
Come on, what's going on? Did something happen? Call me, please. What time is it in New York? She's probably asleep by now. Richard, this is not funny, okay? Pick up now. Did I do something wrong? Let's at least talk about it. You can't just... Ugh, call me back, please. Otherwise, I won't be able to sleep. There will be time for this tomorrow. Tracy, what is this bot doing here? I told you- If you like, I can answer that question. You shut your mouth. Tracy, I want this thing to disappear. If I may speak, sir. Sir, do you not want to know where your family is? Okay. Where is Tracy? Mrs. Tracy is not in. Yes, I can see that. She wanted me to inform you that she went to her parents for the weekend. Oh, wanted to inform me. Fine, she can stay there. What about James? Oh, she took him with her, of course. Correct, sir. They'll be back tomorrow morning. Should I give you a status update? You should do nothing. Did Tracy say why she went to her parents? How do you mean, sir? What was her reason? She only told me to be here for you. Did Tracy ever visit me in the hospital? Does she even know that I had an accident? I can't say anything about that, sir. You can't, or you don't want to. I don't understand, sir. <laughs> exactly. Completely useless. <laughs> Simon. Who gave you a name anyway? Ah, Lydia's still awake. Not as long as that bot snooping around. Yes, sir? You know what? Shut yourself down until tomorrow. As you wish. Richard! God, I was so worried. Where were you? I was in the hospital. What? Why? Are you sick? Why didn't you tell me? I had an accident, I think, on the M75. Something went wrong with the electronics. Oh god, are you hurt? My head took a bit of a beating. Otherwise, everything's fine. You could have been killed. I wouldn't have even known. It can't go on like this. I know. You have to speak to her. Lydia, I've just come out of the hospital. And Tracy isn't here anyway. Really? Where is she? She went to her parents. She took James with her, too. She's bought a bot. Can you imagine? I have a bot now. Me of all people. <laughs> oh. Why are you laughing? She got you a bot? That's nasty. What is she doing at her parents' place? What do I know? Did she leave because of that argument you had? Argument? Yeah, you're... a week ago? You complained about that for hours? <laughs> no idea. The past few days are still a bit of a blur. Do you think she wants to leave? <laughs> What's wrong? Are you scared? Scared? No, why? So why won't you say anything? Because I need to think. Fine. You don't need me for that. Sweetie. No, it's fine. And anyway, I have another customer. At this hour? It's lunchtime in New York, Richard. I told you I'm no longer working nights. Too many creeps. Get some rest, and remember, if you ever need to talk, you have a bot now. Yeah, yeah.
cobalt blue, aquamarine, or a faded turquoise, or a spectrum. Is that possible? Whatever you wish, Doctor. However you imagine it to be. It's Ray. I have to go. Keep me informed. Of course, Mrs. Newman. Ah, there's our patient. You just missed your wife. A bit less days than yesterday, Mr. Newman. Hmm. Looking at you, I see nothing but a piece of art. Your pulse is uneven, but it's expected. Your medication. Otherwise, do you remember the accident now? Remember the... No? Yes. Yes. The cab. It'll all come back, don't worry. Any questions? Don't forget, you can call me at any time. The electronics suddenly started playing up. You were incredibly lucky, my friend. The car is a wreck. Not too fond of flying, hmm? I mean, uh, who rides a cab these days? It must have been the electronics. Now, don't go jumping to conclusions, Newman. Leave that to the experts. In fact, don't make any conclusions. Not in your state. Just relax. Was I alone in the car? You don't remember? No. I don't. Hmm. That's bad, right? No, no, do not worry. I'm just noting it down. Memory loss is a common post-trauma phenomena. We push these experiences into dark corners of the brain and then come up with conspiracy theories. And yes, you were alone in the car. Amy. She's fine. She wasn't in the car. Ah. Right. Did you think she was in the car? No. Maybe. I'm still a little confused. And John? Your son will need to come in for regular examinations for a while. But there's nothing to concern yourself with. No more questions? Very well. If you wish, you may get up. No sports, lots of water, and if you have any problems, you have my number. Don't you worry. Minerva will gently guide you through your day. Oh, and please take your son to the clinic as soon as possible. Your wife had to go to an appointment. We expect him daily at 10 in the morning. Welcome back, Adam. The world. The world. Dreams. Hands. Arms, floating. You're awake. John, thank God. Hello, Adam. Did you sleep well? Thanks. Uh, Henry, uh, I'm kind of seeing double. It'll be fine, though. And you, John? Are you okay? I'm hungry. Okay. Me too. Let's find something to eat. What are you drawing? Nothing. Doesn't look like nothing. It's a circle? Doesn't look like a circle. It's not finished yet. When is Amy coming? Don't know. She's working. Her project is being shown on Sunday. She left a message, though. What are you eating? Same as always. Oh. <laughs> Help me out, Henry. Cereal or cornflakes? Cornflakes, Adam. With hot chocolate. Your drink is coming up. What do you say? Thank you, food assembler. Do I have to go back to the hospital? 
Hey, it's not my decision. But I'm fine. Amy is worried. That's all. She's not even here. John has an appointment at the Kurtz Recreation Center. John, we have to go. Henry's missing. Your jellyfish is here. I can't find his remote. Let's have another look. There it is. Got it. Here, it was in Amy's room. What was it doing there? You'll have to ask Amy. Come on now. John, no dawdling. Are you concerned? Do not forget. You are what counts. You. But who are you? What are your goals? What is your purpose? All the answers are here. Here in your city. Take a look around and enjoy your day. Is everything okay? It's just a geohazard. Yeah. Are you worried? Uh, maybe a little. They're happening more often. I don't think so. They're getting stronger. What is it? No idea. Have you ever seen one before? No. What did that man do with it? No idea. It's something like a... Yeah, actually, I don't know. You should give it back. First, we're going to Dr. Sykes.
have time. Come on, let's take a walk around the park. Look, fish. Can I feed them? Use your snack, but keep something for yourself. They always swim in the same pattern. A perfect circle. It just seems that way. I would like to be a fish for a change. Someday, it'll be possible. Someday? Maybe. For certain. Welcome to the Kurtz Recreation Center. We wish you a pleasant stay. Welcome back, Mr. Newman. What can we do for you? Sorry, I know we're late. No problem at all, sir. I'm bringing my son, John, for Dr. Sykes. Thank you, sir. You can pick John up in four hours. Go enjoy the sunny day. Good evening, sir. Today is January 12th, 2048. It is 626 p.m. What? How late is it? You slept 17 hours, sir. Why didn't you wake me? Tracy and James should be back any minute now. You asked me not to disturb you, sir. <sighs> Damn it. Well, at least help me to clean this place up. You have new cloud messages. Hi, Richard, are you there? Okay, you probably don't want to talk to me right now. I get that. It's just your column for editing. Can I expect it today? If not, Troy can take care of it. Okay, so see you tomorrow, and don't worry. Everything will work out. What's with the cleaner? Is it broken again? Should I clean up? That's the cleaner's job. Where is that damn thing? It's with the damn cleaner. Let's see. Something's in the filter. God, what's this doing here? I haven't seen this card in years. Why did she keep it? Where are they? They should be back by now. How late is it now? 8.30 p.m. Damn, where is she? Maybe you should call her parents. Hey, Jenny. Richard, <laughs> good to hear from you. Hey, Steve told me you're in hospital. Is, is everything okay? Sort of. An accident. I have to regroup a little. Listen, Jenny, is Tracy at your place? Um, no. <laughs> Why? She said she was taking James to her parents' place. She should have been back by now. Oh, well, she's not here. I haven't heard from her in days, actually. Have you tried calling her parents directly? I wanted to ask you first before I bash my head against the wall with Herman. You know how he is. Did Tracy say anything to you in the past few weeks? Did she, you know, did she say anything that I should be aware of? No. Come on, Jenny. I know you're best friends, but I'm worried about her. Okay. 
Of course, she told me that things weren't so good between the two of you. Uh -huh. But the, she's been saying that for ages, and I'm sure you know that too. <laughs> Does she want to leave me? Did she say that? Did she? God, Jennifer, don't make me squeeze it all out of you. Well... She thinks you're having an affair. So she does want to leave. I don't know, Richard. Are you having an affair? <sighs> no. Is there anything I can do to help you? I have to go, Jenny. Say hi to Steve. See you later. Richard. Evening, Herman. Richard, listen, now is not a good time. I know. It never is. I just wanted to know if Tracy's still there. Tracy? No. Okay. And when did she leave? She wasn't here, Richard. Not today, not this week. But... why did she say... You know, Richard, maybe she finally left you. You would love that, wouldn't you? Well, if you ask me, she should have dumped you ages ago. She deserves better than you. So she wasn't there. Maybe something's happened to her. Do you even care? Richard, I know my daughter. She's fine. And when she finally ends it with you, she'll be even better. Oh, come on. Cut the crap. You called. Whatever. Have a nice evening. I have to call Metacentral now. Metacentral. You are speaking with bot 3452-1. Search for person. Understood. Please state surname, first name, and age of the person you are searching for. Nolan. Tracy. 39 years old. Nolan. James. 7 years old. Understood. Please hold. Your search has yielded no results. The persons you are looking for are not in care. How far back does the information go? You require security level 2 to access archival information. Okay, thanks. Thank you, sir. Were you listening? She is not at her parents. Or at the hospital either. Can you explain that to me? Where is she? Where is my son? I cannot provide you with any information about that. You damn things save everything else. I retained the information that your wife intended to visit your parents-in-law. But she didn't! Did Tracy meet someone? When she left, was there anyone with her? There was a man. A man? Who? What was his name? I can't say anything about that, sir. <sighs> I want to see your memory module. Only authorized personnel from Kurt's labs are allowed. Nonsense. Open the slot. I apologize, sir. I do not have the authority to open it. Fine, then I'll do it. You won't be able to open that, sir. You need the calibration key. It must be here somewhere. That must be it. There is one thing you must never forget, Adam. Your most important task in this city. Being a good father. John wants to learn and grow, and you can help him. Every day. Mr. Newman, your son will be with you momentarily. Thanks. Hey, is everything okay? Mm-hmm. Are you done? For today. We will see him tomorrow morning. Same time, same place. You don't need to do anything. Our clinic service will pick him up. Is there a problem with that, Newman? Another appointment? Should I be concerned? concerned? Absolutely not. No need to worry. The clinic's responsibility is to accompany patients under 12 years of age for two weeks with their recovery. 
In John's case, it could even be a few more days. All right. See you tomorrow, John. Come on. Let's go home. So, what did you talk to Dr. Sykes about? Nothing. He only asked questions. What kind of questions? Doctor patient confidentiality. Okay. Adam, where are you two? Are you coming home? We'll be right there. Perfect. See you soon. Adam, I just wanted to hand off a bunch of my work to you, but Fred says you need to recover. What can I say? Without you, my independence areas are half as stellar. I'm just not talented enough or uh, too clever for this nonsense. Probably, Probably the, the latter. Former. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, the latest Newman conspiracy theory has been circulating around here. Why is a healthy man without any bruises lying in bed? What are you hiding, Adam? Conspiracy theory? Sounds like layman. Who else? So, what is your theory? You got a twin brother. Um, no. Well, then my theory is crap. Although, it took quite a while to answer. Tomorrow, you're coming in. Shaved and showered. Got it? Uh, got it. Excellent. See you in the present, Mr. Newman. Don't you think I should know what's going on? He asked questions. Normal questions. How I felt, what I was thinking. Well then, what are you thinking? Okay, fine. It's Monday, and you are watching the present. Your life is our poetry. Everything that matters to you, Mr. John? Adam? Mom? Adam, thank God. Are you feeling better? You're looking less pale. Thanks. I... Yeah, I, th I feel better. Can I go play? Uh, can he? Yeah, he, he can, of course. But no rampaging. You... Probably have a thousand questions. I don't, actually. Sure. Why would you? Sorry. My head is spinning. I have to finish up here. Is Governor Kane making you do overtime now? No rest for the wicked. Still the same project? Yeah, but it will be great, Adam. Perfect. You'll see. Oh, this accident. I still can't remember anything. Maybe it's for the best. Post-traumatic stress. Dr. Sykes said it'll go away. I have to get some work done. Lie down. Get some rest. Hey, that's gonna be good. Thank you, Adam. A circle. Hmm.
How are you today, sir? Good. Fantastic. Should I make you a... No. Hi, Steve. Hey, Richard. How you doing? I'm still alive. Mini Central called us. We were worried about you. I bet you were. Seriously. Frank said you would rest up for a bit. I'm fine. I'm coming by. I have to have a chat with you anyway. Privately. Oh, oh yeah. Jenny said you might want to do that. Everything happens at once, right? Okay. I'll see you soon. See ya. Are you looking for something? Can I help? You can help by shutting your mouth. Are you certain you can go back to work, sir? I've got to go. I wish you a productive and successful day. Hey man, hold up. Yo, passwords, wizards, dark cloud logins. Chase here can get you everything you need. I'm not interested in your crap. Wait, don't I know you? Help our authorities fight illness and disease. Help our authorities fight Break crime point. more effectively. Help our authorities improve the lives of future generations. A nanoscan takes no more than two minutes. get scanned. Minutes. At least one of us might have a chance. Yeah, you, you won't even notice. Look at the radiologists. Welcome, Mr. Nolan. You're expected on floor 247. Good morning. Morning. Richard, I'll talk to you later. Uh -huh. Who is he? That is Mr. Davis, sir. Davis? Never heard of him. Is he new? Mr. Lloyd will introduce you. He is expecting you. God, what's the emergency? I'll go talk to Steve first. Richard, come on. Let's take a look at you. Carrie, could you give us a minute? Of course. What's going on? Hold on a second. Hey, you, you look good. You should go to hospital more often. But rest up for a little while longer, okay? I have to work, Steve. Ah, oh, nonsense. We got Troy now. Take a break. Think of your health. What is Troy doing here? Why did Frank employ him? Well, you should probably ask him that yourself. Support for the team, that's all he told us. I see. Listen, Steve, I've got to talk to you. It's about Tracy. Y you're not splitting up, are you? What makes you think that? Well, nothing. Just a, uh... Just a what? What makes you think that, Steve? Did Tracy tell you something? 
Well, Jennifer mentioned something along those lines. That you're fighting. Hmm. And why didn't you say anything? People fight, it happens. It, it doesn't have to mean you're gonna split up. Look, Tracy's gone. What do you mean, gone? She said she wanted to take James to her parents and come back Sunday. That was yesterday. Have you been looking for her? I've called everywhere. She's not at her parents, she's not at the hospital. Well, she'll be back soon, I'm sure. I think she's with another man, Steve. She bought a bot. One of those base five things. Base five? What'd she buy that for? To annoy me, probably. The bot has a memory chip. So? I want to check its log. The bot recorded who entered my apartment. She's leaving? Fine. But James is staying with me. I get it. Now, as far as I know, those chips are encrypted. And that's where you come in. <laughs> Just show it to me. Okay. That's a level two encryption. I can manage that. It'll take some time, though. At least an hour. I have to talk to Frank anyway. Hey, don't worry about them too much. There'll be an explanation. Richard? I'm ready. There's Richard. Hey, all good? Has caused hey. serious damage to the inner city. A 250-story administration building was destroyed Good morning. By Good morning. Hey, Richard. Long time no see. Because I wasn't here. Richard, come in. Man, what have you gotten yourself into? Yeah, no idea. Just an accident. You can't remember anything? Not the accident, no. What did the doctor say? They said I'll get over it. That's good to hear. <laughs> You'll have to tolerate me a little longer yet. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, Richard, listen. You don't have to rush back into it. Think of your health. You have a family. You're talking as if I were on death's door, Frank. I'm fine. You should take a step back. Really. Don't worry about work. We'll be fine. You'll be fine? What do you mean? Is there something I should know? Uh, wait a second. Uh, Mr. Lloyd, I have time now. A little later, Troy. I'm talking with an old friend. Apologies. Uh, let me close the door. Okay. Now we won't be interrupted. What's going on, Frank? Listen, Richard. I've been wanting to talk to you for a while about this. We've been given new directives from the management. Uh-huh. Yes. They concern the work you're doing. Am I fired? You can't be serious, Frank. No, not fired. We... We are just restructuring a little. We would like to have you on board as a freelance writer. You'll get a framework contract for one year, and then after that, we'll see. You're kicking me out. I can't believe it. Look, you've done a lot for The Voice, and we really want to hold on to you. Oh, come on. But your column... There's been criticism. <sighs> I understand. Can I at least keep my desk in the newsroom? Richard, we've known each other for a long time, but you have to understand... Fine. Got it. You're a man with an agenda. What we need are journalists. Mankind's abolishing itself, Frank. And what, we can't write about that now? I'm not a terrorist. Richard, it's out of my control. The decision's been made. But you are always welcome here. You can keep using the cloud services. Okay. And if you need anything... I'll come to you. Hey. We're professionals, right? You know as well as I do that things can go this way. Sure, Frank. You probably have stuff to do. Secret services are behind the attacks. A high intensity surge is on. I've had enough of that printed junk. Damn embargo.
second attack of its kind within the... Huh. Thanks. Wow. What's made you so peeved? Hey, what's up? Something happened? Did Frank put you on some crappy job? No. What then? What happened? I'm fired. What? Thrown out. Yeah. Why? You'll have to ask Frank. Some nonsense. A directive from the management. I'm out. But with a short-term freelance contract. That's unbelievable. You should get a lawyer. Ah, oh, come on. So, you have to clear your desk now? Your new colleague Troy will be sitting there tomorrow. Frank is still letting me run around here a bit, though. I can still use the network. Generous, right? How's the memory chip coming along? Oh, yeah. It's done. And? What's on it? Show me. Okay, fine. He's speaking to my boy. I'll kill him, Steve. I swear to you, I'll end his life. Who is he? Richard. You don't even know what Tracy has to do with him. He could just be helping her move. Helping her move? It's obvious what's going on. Tracy ran off with this... this... And James. She took James, too. I have to know who that is. I have to get my boy back. You gotta help me, Steve. What? Identify him? Sure, I can try. Do a facial comparison. Send it through the database. Okay. Nothing. Nothing at all? He must have left some trace in the cloud. Maybe he's a hacker. What about his movements? I can't check that. Maybe we can. I don't really like it, but... Move scan. We'll check his movement profile and find out who he is. <laughs> Richard... MoveScan is a police database. We'll find him that way. Didn't you write a huge article about that? I know, Steve, but this is about my boy. We just need access. That's illegal. And anyway, how are you going to get clearance? I'll take care of that. There's sources out there. Okay, Steve. Thanks for now. I have to go. I'll call you. are in the back if you need anything. No way. Long time no see, man. You need something? Hmm. I, I knew it. Where's the guy that was just here? Your friend? Jason? Hey, not now, dude. Jace is talking to Dr. Roboarm. Roboarm? About an hour ago. Are you totally sure? Okay, understood. Uh, he's a little busy right now, man, but I'm also open for business. You said you have illegal passwords. I need one for MoveScan, for some research. MoveScan? We got you. That's 800. All encrypted, of course. Oh, what do you know? Here he comes again. <laughs> I'll call you back later. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> I was just talking about you. Really? With whom? Maybe you want to tell me your name. What for? I'd like to know who I'm doing business with. Okay, fine. 
Richard. Mm-hmm. Just Richard? Nolan. Richard Nolan. I'm a journalist. Sure. Richard Nolan. Exactly. You got a problem with that? No. But you do. Get him. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Relax, I just want to... Listen to me, cop. Next time you want to pretend to buy, pick another fake name. I'm not a cop. Richard Nolan is dead. What? Says who? Says Jay. He sends his regards and wishes you a pleasant stay in hospital. Deal with him. Amy? One question in this world, John, that you should be asking yourself every day. Are you true? What is that? Happiness comes from your brain. Now I could tell you a lot about your. I'm losing my mind. I'm actually losing my mind. Or. Or is this some kind of stupid test? Downstairs, you mean? <laughs> what are you doing? Come up here. Man, Richard. Look at you, you're, you're a walking corpse. Did you at least get what you wanted? Yep, here. Don't look at me like that, it's just a password. Will you help me? Fine, but I can tell you right now that it's not gonna be quick. I can't do that all online. I have to get a copy of the database first. How long will that take? A day at least. <sighs> okay, I have some other stuff to do anyway. You know, concerning those dealers. Are you gonna report them? You know, I'd be careful if I were you. You know what one of those guys told me? That I'm dead. What? I mean, that, that's a joke, surely. Or, or a threat. Didn't sound like it. Some guy called Jay is telling everybody, apparently. Richard, they're junkies. They're high. They hang out all day in Neverland or wherever it is they go these days. Jay, or maybe J-A-Y? Do you know who they meant by that? Maybe a hacker. Something was with his arm. Huh. A hacker. 
Jay, something with his arm. Augmented, maybe. Th that rings a bell. Wasn't there a, a narco? Now, hold on. I'll send you some material from the archives. Maybe you'll find them there. Okay. Jack McHale. More bots. Wonderful. Jeff Kazowski, augmented arm. Terrorists connected to the Doomsday Club. The breakpoint hackers, probably. Jay... Jay Kazowski. Wanted terrorist in hiding. In hiding? Okay, but where? This. This is something. Here. This looks interesting. Jeff Kozowski. Researcher in the field of robotics. Augmentation of the right lower arm. Luddite. Breakpoint went under the radar. Connections to Berlin's anarchy scene. Doomsday. That's an anarchist's club. I could try there. Okay, Steve. Thanks. I'll call you about the move scan search. You want to go to Doomsday? Are you mad? There's a raid there every other week. I want to know why I am apparently dead. Oh, come on, Richard. That's just junky talk. You're alive. Concentrate on Tracy and James. And on your health. I don't know, Steve. I don't have a good feeling about it. Why does he think I'm dead? Maybe he knows something about James, too. Experts believe that either an organized criminal network or foreign secret services are behind the attacks. A high-intensity search is on for the criminals. will attack today, betcha. Let him come. I'm prepared. I need a companion code. Oh, I'm so sorry. Richard Nolan? Yeah, just what I needed. Faye? 
I almost didn't recognize you. You've some nerve to come back here. Isn't this where the scum of techno-capitalism gathers to die? In your article back then? Sorry, Faye, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. Why are you standing outside? No companion code? I've been trying to reach Mina. All signals have been disabled. Mina's at the club? <laughs> Mina's always at the club. Okay, one second. Somebody's coming. Hey, man, do you play Neverland? You need a starter kit? I can get you everything. Your houses, your ships, wings. You sell real life things, too? <laughs> real life? Yeah, sure, if you're in it. You, you name it, I got it. Uh, what do you need, man? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, some noob. I, I'll disconnect. I need a companion code. Great. Give me your ID and I'll send it tomorrow. I need it. Now. Okay, forget it. You have reception? Of course. How'd you get it? Wizard. I, I could get it for you, but it's not entirely legal. I get that. How much? 900. 900? I can live for a month off that much. Hey, there are drones everywhere, man. You want a deal like that? Go to Neverland. Fine. And here you go. You're wizard. Currently, all signals within Sector 36 are disabled. Damn, no reception. First time we've ever had a chat. Hey, listen, Mina, I need to meet a couple of people at the club. And... You don't have a companion code. I'll send you one. Meet me inside by the entrance. No data from unknown. Where's Tracy? My companion code. Where'd you get that from? All right, in you go. But don't tell me I didn't warn you. Richard Nolan, in Doomsday. Tracy's gonna kill you. You don't have to tell her. Well, she never calls anyway. Mina. No, it's fine. I get it. Family, kids. It hasn't been easy for her recently. Oh, come on. She still calls Jennifer. Is she still working for Bote? Huh. <laughs> you really haven't seen each other in a while. How are you? Stressed. Got three shows next week. I'm going crazy. Really? For a big designer? Yep. Front and center. Not bad. Tracy's probably jealous, right? You come here often, right? Yeah. Why not? I got everything I need here. Methylin and shots. You were always a charmer, Richard. I'm looking for a certain Jeff. Kazowski, I think he's called. Kazowski? Oh, God. What do you want from him? I... I just need to get to know him. Uh-huh. Well, if you need to, ask Louisa. Behind the bar. She's into guys like him. Richard, wait a second. What? Does Tracy still do... You know. No, I don't, you know. <sighs> don't look at me like that. I need to escape sometimes, you know. I really can't help you out there, Mina. Then at least give me a couple of credits. I'm completely broke. How is that possible? Thanks. You're the best. 
Hey, you come here often now, huh? Taking a break from family life? Must feel good. Nolan. I get that a lot. I'd put money on it. But he was younger, right? Who, Nolan or me? Nolan was great. You don't remember Drone Gate? That was big. Yeah, that was big ten years ago. Malcolm. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone. A certain Jeff. Jeff? Everybody knows... There's no Jeff here. I've heard he comes here often. Yeah? What's your name? Richard Nolan. <laughs> You're real funny. Maybe we should have a drink. Oh, sure. I've never heard that one before. The narc wants to buy me a drink. What do you think of that? I got another suggestion. You finish your drink and disappear. Hey. What's with Jeff? Why are you meeting up with Okay, Richard Nolan. I'll tell you something. In this place, you better not ask dumb questions. Either you know people, or you don't. You got it? I wouldn't have asked if it wasn't important. If it was important, you'd know Jeff. Huh. Here you are again. He doesn't get it, does he? Listen, I'd like to help you, but... There's no Jeff here. <laughs> Another vodka? Not now, thanks. Okay, let me know. Having fun? You don't happen to have the barmaid's contact, do you? Louisa? What you got planned? I just want to talk to her. Sure. If you say so. I'll send it to you. For a few credits, okay? Service fees and all. And I just transferred you some. You're a darling. I'll send you Louisa's data. Wow. 30 credits? Seriously? I'm not your dealer, Mina. Oh, God. Not your dealer, Mina. No wonder you can only get girls when they're high. You're quite persistent, aren't you? Listen, I'm not a narc. I have to talk to Jeff. What's so important? I have to tell him that myself. Hmm, not how it works, darling. I need more than that. Okay, fine. He's been telling people I'm dead. Dead? Yes, dead. Obviously, I'd like to talk to him about that. Not how it What the? I need more. I need more. Hey, who are you? Not important. Go to the control room for the light show. Second floor. What? I'll be in touch. We have to get the search drones off our tail, then we can talk. Come up to the lounge. Carl will let you in. You're looking for your family, right? How do you know? A little birdie told me. I have to speak to Jeff Kozowski. Many do.
Richard Nolan? That's me. And you're Jeff, right? What the hell, man? You're dead. Yeah, I heard that too. How did you survive? How did you get out of the building? There were bots and drones everywhere. I think I'd like my questions answered first. I can't believe it. It probably happened just when the upload was happening. That's a serious override. Your mind shouldn't be here. At the very least, you should be in a coma. What are you talking about? I want to know what's going on, now. I have to talk to a couple of people first. Tell me now. Hey, hey, no need to get loud, okay? Richard, according to our sources, you were in one of Kurt's labs about a week ago. Were you doing research there? Were you there of your own free will? I wasn't in a Kurt's lab. I had an accident. Okay, you, you don't know anything. We thought it might have been something to do with your work. We didn't find out until after the attack that you were there. I have no idea what you're talking about. Richard, you saw the news. The attack on Kurt's labs. It hit the building that you were in. I promise, we had no idea, otherwise we would have- I wasn't in a lab, I was in a cab! You were in the lab, we didn't find out until after the evaluation. We could trace you. You carried out the attack? And why was I there? Tracy and James, were they? Okay, Richard, listen. Kurt's labs have been working on a project. We recently found out about it. They have been transferring enormous amounts of data to an unknown server for weeks. We think they have found a way to upload brains. Upload brains? As in mind uploads? Exactly. They're uploading people, probably against their will. Mind uploads? Exactly. And we believe they have uploaded you. Me? Yeah. That's crazy. I'm here. You are. That's the amazing part. But some of your data is somewhere else. Somewhere else? Where? We don't know, exactly. It has to be some sort of digital construct. We tried to infiltrate it. We made a data link to upload a guy called Charlie, but the connection with him was severed. So then we tried to make contact with you. But I am here! Yes and no. There is some kind of copy of you. It's probably been modified. A copy? You mean... a second Richard? A second person. We don't know how different he is to you, and what is missing from him. In a moment, we'll try to upload data to him from your biography to stabilize the connection. Most of your data has been deleted, though, so we have to make do with second and third grade material. Relatives, acquaintances, everyone you ever came into contact with. How much data do you have? A, a lot, Richard. But still just a fraction of what Kurt's labs has gathered. <sighs> You need a moment, right? I was in a cab. It crashed. I went to the hospital. No, Richard. They tried to upload you. Uh, and my family? They've disappeared, both of them. Did you have problems? Problems? What makes you think that? Just trying to make sense of it all. How did you get in the lab? Was it your decision? Did you agree to the upload? I, I don't remember. Maybe your alter ego knows more. He's a part of you. Contact him. He goes by the name of Adam Newman. You want me to... We have access to your database. It's completely encrypted. You can't read any of it. But he probably can. Why? Because he is in a virtual world. That one is me? No. That one's a virtual construct. Based on your memories, he probably can't even remember your life. You'll have to change that. What for? So he'll believe us. So he'll help us find Charlie. And your family. You'll get your life back together, and we'll know what Kurtz is getting up to. Who's we? Breakpoint? Uh, th I have to reconstruct my memory? Both of your memories. Okay, I, I guess that's enough for now, right? Go now. Be careful. How... how can I contact you? You can't. I'll contact you. Phil will give you a couple of toys. You'll need them. We'll stay in touch, Richard. Count on it. And... how was it with Jeff? Revealing. He said you had something for me. Ah, yeah. Just some standard equipment. First things first. 
A hacked ID. If you get caught with this thing, you're in trouble. Got it? Got it. Good. I'll also set up a cloud call encryption for you. And we're done. For now. You're off the data radar. Any questions? Nah. Well then. Welcome to the other side of the law. Go to the terminal, and I'll show you a couple of our tricks. I'll show you how to take control of a search drone. Go. You're in. Look at everything. Get a feel for the system. Get to know the controls first. Good. We're searching for a Jack. A Jack someone. He works for a virtual reality company. See if you can find him. He's bald and has a beard. If the pictures we have are still accurate. What did you do? Don't worry, my friend. You know the old phrase. The more you know, the less you know. Cops.
Good evening, sir. Were you successful? <sighs> sir, your ID. Shut yourself down. I need to work. In silence. Sir, if I may say something... Your situation is without a doubt far from happy, but it shouldn't lead you to suicidal thoughts. What would you know about that? You're not alive. That's not very nice, Richard. What? Am I hurting your feelings? I am registering that you're angry, sir, but you shouldn't take it out on me. Oh, really? Why not? Didn't you say you belong to us? Everything here belongs to me, you get me? If I want, I can make scrap out of you. I could hack you up with an axe and not even pay a fine. Who's gonna stop me? Of course, sir. But that wouldn't be very human. Oh, yes, my friend. It would be all too human. Yeah? It's me. Just wanted to see if you're still alive. I'm fine, but Phil... Yeah, I know. Poor guy. But it's fine. It's... fine? This is war, Richard. Losses are part of the game. What were they doing in Doomsday? They're nervous because of our campaign. Did you contact him already? Newman? No. Then do it. You can access the database from your cloud hub now. I'm still not entirely sure how. Tell Adam he needs to look for data fragments. We've already uploaded some for him. They're encrypted. Only he can see them. Or so I hope. He needs to find them and send them to your cloud hub. Begin with a keyword. When you find a fragment, upload it. Keep going until... until you have some remnant of intact memories we can use. And if he doesn't believe me? Improvise. You know him better than he does. I'll call you back. Hardly. But you'll be hearing from me. Memento database. Fine. Data fragments, keywords. How am I supposed to understand this? Hive call. Newman, Adam. That must be him. Let's see if this Adam Newman person picks up now. Cloud call service. Welcome. This contact is currently offline. Please hold. Closing cloud call. This contact. Hive call service. Connection failed. This contact is currently offline. Hold. My name is Richard Nolan. I'm calling from Berlin. From where? What kind of connection is this? It's not so easy to explain. The connection is improvised. You mean illegal, right? Listen to me, Adam. This is important. I'm calling because I have reason to believe that... Yes? <laughs> that... That you... are a part of me. What? Uh, let me explain. No. Please. Don't explain anything. Adam, please. Hey. Hi, Lydia. Hey. What's up? Nothing, nothing. I just wanted to hear your voice. 
Okay, you've heard it now. Am I disturbing you? Is Tracy there? And no, Tracy is not here. But I'm still disturbing you. Let's not start this again, okay? How long do you think I'm going to play this game, Richard? Lydia, listen. I really have to go. Let's talk later, okay? You wanted to talk to Tracy months ago. I have to go now, Lydia. Closing cloud call. <sighs> what am I doing? I have to talk to Adam again. It's me again. I can see that. I'm blocking this frequency now. Adam, please, don't hang up. Did you receive anything? Some kind of data? Data? Data fragments, uh, virtual constructs. I know it- Wait. That thing in my apartment, that's- That's yours? This, um... I don't know, hologram. That must be it. Well, just get it out of my wife's study. Send it to me. How can I? It's data. Send it to my cloud address. I'll decrypt it and send it back to you. What? No, w why? So you can take a look at it. At your data? <laughs> I don't even know you. Yes, Adam, you do. You know me better than- Okay, look. There has to be some kind of misunderstanding, sir. I'm gonna send you back your stuff now, and that's it. Goodbye. What a creep. Well, let's see if we can get this thing out of Amy's study. You have two new messages. Adam? I've just seen the pictures of the accident. It's unbelievable. Did you receive the contact from the World Union lawyers? You must file a case. You're entitled to compensation. We're thinking of you. Get well soon. Adam, please give me a call. I have to talk to you. Adam, how are you? Uncle Jeremy is coming out of his cryosleep on Saturday. We're all meeting at the Wilson's place. Are you coming? Family is important, Adam. Okay, I'll stop. See you soon. Lots of love. Okay, that was... All right. What now? Send it? From where? My cloud hub? Send it to me. Hmm. Let's see. Warning. The version number of this object is obsolete. Hmm. Scan complete. Object ID recognized. Oh. Object sent successfully. Cloud Hub prompt. You have new data from unknown. Adam, finally. Let's see. This data is 18 years old. How far back does this database go? Sector 36, Berlin. The Doomsday, perhaps? Okay, decode fragment.
unknown has sent you new data to your cloud hub. He actually did send me data. What's that? Where? Ow! Get going! Go! Jerk! You're completely off your head. Look at you. This will have consequences. Mm, sure. Go home. Sleep it off. That's incredible. Hey, open up. I've lost something. Open up, you idiots. It's important. Important? What's important? Who is that? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, they've probably thrown it in the trash. Apparently not. They're still here. If I were you, I'd get out of here. You don't want to be hanging around here as a woman at this time of night. Especially not in your state. But leave me alone. I'm looking for something. <laughs> not here, you're not. Hey, darling. You all alone here? Ugh. Hey, I asked you something. Leave me alone. Why don't you come here? Oh, get lost. There's that Richard. What's going on, honey? Oh, well, I, I lost something. I heard. You were making a lot of noise about it. Something important? Well, for me, it is. It's, it's, it's a lucky charm. Hey, could I take a photo of you? You have a wonderful face, full of anguish. Beautiful. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm a scan photographer at Kurt's Labs. Here's my card. So if you want to... Thanks, but I really gotta go. You should go home, honey. It's dangerous around here when the club closes. Uh, excuse me? What's up? I need help. Mm -hmm. You left something in there. I heard you. Yeah, I, I... I think they put it in the garbage back there. And that old guy creeps you out. Got it. You know him? He hangs around here a bit, looks for scrap. He's mostly harmless. Uh-huh, mostly. Could you... would you... Have a word with him? <laughs> of course. That would be great. Come with me. Let's go over together. He looks younger. Hey, enough for today, okay? Get lost, man. I'm busy. The lady here is looking for something. The lady should take care of her sweet neck. Everything here belongs to me. You want me to call the cops? You think I'm afraid of them? We could try and find out. Hey! All right. All right. Oh, finally. Such a creep. Thanks for helping me out. Not a problem. Should I help you look for it? What is it exactly? My lucky charm? It's a... a... music box. <laughs> what, what's so funny? You carry a music box around with you. That's really touching. Listen, thanks again. I'll be fine alone. Hey, I didn't mean to offend you. No, no, it's all fine. Okay. Can I do anything else? No. It's an important music box, isn't it? I need it. Damn it, where is it? A cloud call? Oh no. Dad. What does he want now? There! There it is! Oh thank God! Ah, you can open it. I see. It's really important. But what's it got to do with you? You're right, I'm sorry. Hey. You think I could ask you out for a drink? My treat? 
That's nice, but I have to make a cloud call now. It's all right. Hey, Daddy. It's me. Sorry that I didn't call earlier. Don't worry. I don't have a lot to tell you. How's Mom? Is everything okay? When's she getting out of the hospital? She got out three weeks ago, Tracy. Oh, what? Really? Why didn't you tell me? I did tell you. We already talked about it. Did we? But when was that? I can't remember. Listen, Tracy. You're completely wasted. That stuff is ruining your life. Ugh, don't start with this again. Your mother and I talked about it yesterday. We're both of the opinion that if you want to fall, then we'll let you. All the way. You won't wake up till you hit rock bottom. What's that supposed to mean? We've decided not to help you anymore, Tracy. What? You're not gonna hear from us. And we don't want you to call. You'll receive no support and no money. Daddy! You can't be serious! Don't interrupt me! Do a detox! Get a job! Take responsibility yourself! Then and only then can you contact us. Not before then, you understand? Are you guys crazy? You wanna just cut me off entirely? Take care of yourself, okay? Daddy? <laughs> Tracy, look this way, please. Fantastic, thanks. Where am I now? A couple of questions, Tracy. Just quick, our readers love you. Okay, I have a couple minutes. <laughs> but no politics, okay? <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to be the Voice's new station avatar? How was the scan? Fantastic. Now I can load my youth craze onto my avatar and grow old in peace. Not that I'm in a rush. <laughs> Next question, please. Tracy, The Voice Boston here. There's one question we keep hearing in our feed. How do you stay so fit? What's your secret? Oh, I meditate. I do yoga. I begin every day with sun salutations. It strengthens body and soul. Do you use anything else for your meditative experiences? What are you getting at? For example, say, substances. Ah, well, I drink herbal tea. That helps a lot. Next question. Just herbal tea? Are you certain? You don't put anything else in there? I've answered your question. Someone else? Tank Beasley, The Guardian. Ms. Dawson, you were in Moscow last autumn. No political questions, please. You, back there. Your parents have been rumored to have cut off all contact with you. Why? And my parents and I have different opinions sometimes. That's how it is with human parents, right? Does your fight with your parents have something to do with your nightlife? Next question, please. What would you say to people that have claimed you're a junkie? I don't talk with such people. Back to Moscow, Ms. Dawson. As I said, no politics. Interview over. Do you take drugs, Tracy? Time's up. Thank you, everybody. Tracy, what is it? Everything's fine. My bag. I just need to get my bag. Maybe you left it at the coat check. Hurry up. Must be some kind of VR. But what does all of this have to do with me?
Hey, are you okay? You, uh, you look kind of worried. Yeah, you look a little pale. Come on, take a seat. I need to get my stuff back. Can I get you a drink? Walter, cut it out, okay? You're too old for this. Let me take care of the lady. I apologize. Sometimes my colleague overestimates himself. Oh, ho! Come on, Walter. You have to write in my edits, don't you? Oh, fine. We'll see who's overestimating who. Good. Now we're rid of him. Uh, that wasn't very nice. Ah, it's Walter. He can handle it. But he's right. You look pale, and you're shaking. Can I help you? My bag. My bag is gone. It was just here. It was lying on the table. What does it look like? Like a bag. Black with a gold lock. Was there something valuable in it? It's not in here. It must be somewhere else. Tracy? I believe this belongs to you? Yes. Oh, thank God. Or where was it? Uh, my assistant found it. It was lying upturned on the floor. Tracy, this is Dr. Kurtz, director of Kurtz Institutes. Tracy, I'd like to talk to you alone for a minute. Excuse me, but we were just... I didn't ask you. I asked Tracy. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Don't take that tone with me. But it's exactly the tone you deserve. I don't believe you know who I am. I do, actually. And I believe your boss is waiting for you. Richard, can you come here, please? This is a joke, right? No! Fine, okay. Tracy, I have to go. Maybe we'll see each other again later? Richard! Coming, coming. Oh, sorry, we have to go. I've arranged for your Sky Whale to wait. What uh, can I do for you? I've been observing you for a while, Tracy. You are wonderful, perfect. I have some interesting work for you. What is the work, sir? You mind if I turn your bot off for just a second? How did you do that? I know the kill switch frequencies. I designed this model. Tracy, I'd like to have you on board for a project. A genetic exploration. Uh, you need not worry, it's completely safe. And you would be doing science a big favor. Is it well paid? I wouldn't worry about that. Come visit me at Kurt's Labs. I will tell you all the details. Uh, let me consider it, okay? I'll call you. Do. Oh, we are late. We have to go, Tracy. Okay, I have to go. See you soon. Okay. Okay. What the hell was that? Hello. Adam, thank God. So, can we talk now? Yes. I have a couple of questions. Sure, sure. About that data you sent me. Yeah? Was that you? Yes. Did you? Yes, that's right. It's a... A piece of data from my life. Why can I experience it? How did you do that? I have access to a database, but the data is encrypted and virtual. The data can only be played virtually where you are. <laughs> okay. Uh, where are you, did you say? In Berlin. In reality, the physical world. I don't know a Berlin. Is that like a VR or something? It's reality. Your city is a VR. <laughs> My city isn't real. You're not real. Okay. That is insane. I'm hanging up. Adam, you have a family, right? Just like me. Yes. And I have to take care of them. John, my son, he isn't doing too well. That's terrible. What's wrong? He has to go to a clinic every day. Is he sick? He's upset. I had a cab accident, and his mother isn't here. She's working. A cab? What happened? I don't remember. Like I said, an accident. You didn't have an accident, Adam. These are echoes from my memory. They've probably been modified. I had an accident, you understand? It was horrible. Tracy, she... She was with me in the car. 
Tracy? My wife. Does the name mean nothing to you? My wife is called Amy. But... There was a Tracy, uh, In that... Uh... Tracy? You saw Tracy? Where? When? Talk to me, Adam. Tell me everything. Did Tracy say anything? Did you notice anything? Kurtz. Dr. Kurtz. In a wheelchair? Raymond Kurtz, yeah. And? What does he have to do with Tracy? Tracy and Kurtz were talking. He wanted her for a project. A genetic study. A genetic study? Nothing else? No. Look around. There has to be another data set somewhere. Listen, I don't think... Send it to me. The more fragments you see, the better. Sorry. I have to go now. Who were you talking to? What? Oh, just a hive call. It was... A lawyer. Mr. Nolan from World Union Lawyers. Regarding the accident. Were you mad at him? Mad? No. Just a difficult guy. Hmm. Kurtz. Maybe Walter isn't that crazy after all. You have new cloud messages. Hey, Richard, it's me, Jenny. Call me back, okay? Do you know what, Richard? Screw you. Have a nice life with your model. Hey, Jenny. Thanks for the message. Here I am. Richard, thanks for calling me. Listen, I'm getting worried now. Have you heard anything at all? Nothing. Steve is helping out. I'm very thankful. Yeah. Listen, Richard, I wanted to apologize. I wasn't very nice to you on Sunday. That's okay. Neither was I. It was all a bit too much for me. I was pretty exhausted. So are you doing any better? Health-wise, I mean. I think it's going to take a while. My memory, you know, a lot has come back to me, but there are also things... I might go back to the doctor again. Hey, can I ask you something, Richard? Something personal? Sure. Do you love Tracy? Well, what kind of a question is that? You know us, Jenny. We have James. We're a family. No, that's not what I mean. Of course I love her. How could you think... Wait a second. Are you in contact with Tracy? Is this her idea? <laughs> what? She wants you to feel me out. That's what's going on. No? What for? What do I know? Maybe she wants to know if it's worth coming back to me. Or maybe she wants revenge. Just wants to make me suffer. <laughs> Richard... Or she probably wants you to oversee the breakup. Tell me she's leaving me in stages. Hey, are you completely insane? You're in this together. You're not calling because you care about me. <laughs> okay, Richard, this is just too stupid for me now. Oh, yeah, for me too. <laughs> you really need to see a doctor. Let me know when you're feeling better. Hi, Steve. And? How was it in Doomsday? Did you clear up your expiration? More or less. What about that man in my apartment? Did you make progress with a database? Okay, Richard. Listen to me. I, I don't know if it'll help you now, but I put his movement profile into MoveScan. Who is it? I don't know. If for some reason this database is coming up with more than one match. I thought movement profiles were unique, like fingerprints. Well, if you ask me, this whole move scan stuff doesn't work. Can we meet up? I know you have a lot on your plate, but I have to know if you found anything out about the man Tracy was with. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm at the office.
authorities fight illness and disease. Help our authorities fight crime. to talk to you Steve do you yes I I think I have some real problems actually buddy I knew that already hey Richard can't stay away huh hey Richard listen to me I want to talk to you okay not here though come with me sure Is this about Jennifer? If you know already, why didn't you come to me? Well, I thought time heals all wounds anyway, right? <laughs> you snap at my wife, blame her and accuse her with crazy conspiracy theories, and, and then you think you can just sit and, and wait it out? I don't know what came over me. It's all a bit much for me at the moment. You can't imagine what I... I don't care about all that. Whatever happened to you, it's no excuse for attacking your friends. You don't have that many. Now, if you keep going on like this, you'll have even fewer. Steve, I'm sorry, okay? Don't tell me. Tell Jenny. What about the research? Will you still help me? Steve, please. You have no idea what I... Yeah, j just cut it out. You had an accident, yes, I get it. But you also had a life before your damned accident. You should try to get it back in order. That's exactly what I'm trying. Listen, I will help you, but I'm doing it for your family, for Tracy and the kid, okay? Okay. Good. Come with me. Come on, let's find your family. Okay, Steve. Are these the move scan results? You know we can both go to jail for this, right? Let's start with the best matches. Yomez, One, 99.6%. Might be it. Jack Oster, 82%. Philip Osang. 99.7. Curtis Peter. Best match so far. Wait, slow down. We should look at the profiles one by one. All right, now we only need the cloud contact. There. That's a hit. Stanley White. Does he have a profile? Yep. With a cloud contact and everything. He's from here, see? Berlin. Okay. He, he looks different to the man in the video. Yeah. Strange. I'll still call him, though. Something else, Steve. Do you have any material regarding Kurt's labs in the archives? Oh, don't tell me you're starting with that, too. I just want to check something. Sure. That's what Walter said. All that stuff is with him. Has been for ages. I see. I had no idea what he... Um, what he's been doing since he... went solo. I wonder why that was. I should talk to him again. Hey, Walter. May I... May I interrupt you for a second? Oh. Hi, Richard. What are you doing now? Researching. Uh -huh. 
What about? <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Try me. Come on, Richard, stop it. We haven't worked together in an age. Do you know the last time you were in this office? It's been a while, I know. Four years. That long already? <laughs> You know, at some point, I just couldn't muster the courage to walk in here. I thought you were angry at me. You did? Yes. Because... Because I left you hanging. Oh, stop talking crap, Richard. Frank put me out the pasture, and you... You had more important things to do. That's not true, and you know it. Whatever. But why are you here? Small talk? If you like. How's Tracy? Uh, what's the kid up to? How's your career? Walter, please. What? Are we doing small talk or not? Tracy and James have disappeared. I'm looking for them. Hmm. I thought so. What do you mean, you thought so? <laughs> Forget it. You know I'm a bit mad. Everybody does. I need your help, Walter. <laughs> Go ask Frank. He'll help you, I'm sure. He fired me. Really? Well, Richard, that's how it is. Everybody's time comes. Walter, listen. You've done research on Kurt's labs in the past, haven't you? <laughs> I have. Do you still have the files? Well, you're too late. There are things in motion that can't be stopped anymore. I don't get it. What, what things? <sighs> you know, Richard, I've been doing a lot of thinking these past years. I used to think life was about finding the truth or getting justice or whatever. It's not? No, it's about life. Life and living. You just got to be on the correct side. Uh-huh. And what is the correct side? We're all mortal. Sooner or later, we all die. And then what? A gravestone, a bunch of paperwork, some data. Okay, and? Well, there are always two sides to every story, here and beyond. Life and death. One and zero. A binary system, you understand? <laughs> Actually, not at all. <laughs> you will. You're just taking your first steps. Frank's right. You're actually insane. Look, when you look into the mirror, Richard, what do you see? Walter, listen. What do you think you see yourself? No, what you see is matter. Nothing more. It's not you. It's completely replaceable. You gotta get out more, Walter. Interact with some people. Well, you could be right. And you know what? I will get out of here. Very soon, in fact. That's good. Very good. Do you still have that house by the lake? I'd like to come visit you someday. The house? Yeah, but, uh... I don't need it anymore. Why not? Where are you going? You, you're not planning anything stupid, Walter. Don't worry about me. Walter, about Tracy and James. I'm worried. Really worried. They'll be fine. They'll take care of themselves. And you will too. Listen, it's my family we're talking about. Oh, why? You didn't seem to care about them before. Family, friends. I mean, you never had any time for anybody. Look, I'm sure Tracy knows what she's doing. How can you say such a thing? I understand that you're disappointed, but... You're portraying me as some sort of monster. These files... Can you even make sense of that mess? They're not important anymore. Okay, but what is all this? It just doesn't look... healthy. Anatomical studies, neural networks, chemical formulas... 
Architectural models? What the hell is going on, Walter? Are you writing some crazy diary or what? Maybe. But why? What's the meaning of it? I told you, it's not important anymore. You can have it. The whole thing. I don't need it anymore. Well, then... I'm coming back tomorrow, okay? Sure. Of course. No, really. I'm coming. So, what's Walter up to? Still hates me. And what else is new? Drone Gate, Steve. It's all about Drone Gate, because I won that stupid award. He's got to get out of that stupid hole there. I don't get why Frank isn't doing something about it. Like I was twiddling my thumbs. I was the one getting the whole thing off the ground. Richard, not everything's always about you. Yeah, well, he hates me. So, did you call this Stanley guy? Not yet. Hello? Hi, are you Stanley? My name is Richard Nolan. Nolan? From The Voice? Yep, that's me. How'd you get this number? Huh, <laughs> of course. You're a journalist. What do you want, a story? Or a nice time? I'd like to ask you a couple of questions, in person. A story it is. Sure, why not? Good for business. Send me your geolocation. I'll meet you there, okay? <laughs> okay. See you then, Richard Nolan. In Nairobi, tensions remain high as fighting between Eastern and Western drone units continues in the mining region. Stanley White? Yeah, how's it going? We said 10 o'clock. I was here at 10. Nature called. Uh, can you even talk then? Huh, really? Yeah, I'm good. So, why the honor? Do you want to write a story about me? Hey, didn't you do one about drugs once? Ha <laughs> ha, and your wife. Oh, <laughs> I remember. That was a long time ago. No, I'm investigating something else. It's about movement data. You know, tracking profiles. I was looking for someone in a database, but your profile came up, and I thought it was a bit strange. So I thought, maybe we should get to know each other. So, who are you looking for? Man from a video, mid-40s. He looks nothing like you. But he moves exactly like me. You got it. <laughs> maybe a fan. You know, I know a lot of people. It comes with a job. Maybe he thinks I'm his role model or something. The system doesn't mess up that easily. How do you get by, if I may ask, with dealing? I don't like that word. I sell experiences. I'm an artist. Experiences. I think I know how that ends. Hey, your wife just took the wrong thing. If she'd come to me, she never would have crashed like that. You have siblings? A brother, maybe? Only child. Really terrible childhood, you know? What exactly do you do, Stanley? My job is to give people a trip to another world. That's what they want. To discover something new, something beautiful. Yeah, escaping. To a dream world. Exactly what Tracy did. What you got against dreams? 
Can't you imagine something better than this crap here? Maybe. But that's not what I'm here for. Okay, let's get back to your movement data. You know what? Maybe you didn't see a man in your video. Yeah, it could have been a telepresence. With your movement profile? Well, Valerie scanned me once for a sculpture. Yeah, maybe she sold on the data. Valerie? The artist, Valerie von Stahl. Perfections. Yeah, you must have heard of it. That was one of her models. Cool gig. So what happened? She performed a nano scan on you? Something like that. I got 50,000 credits for it and a ticket to the colony. And you want to go? To Mars? But you have your experiences, isn't that enough for you? <laughs> for now. But I mean, look around you. Nothing will come of this world, we both know that. You could try to do something about it. Oh, I will. Get on the colony ship and psh, off I go. Yeah, I gotta go. Hope I have some help. Yeah, okay. Safe travels. Enjoy reality. <laughs> In Berlin, overnight, a raid on multiple subway tunnels resulted in the destruction of numerous police bots. The police were sweeping the tunnels for criminals. Hey, Jeff. Made any progress yet? I've made it through to Adam. He's seen the data. Apparently, Tracy met with... What about Charlie? Has Adam made contact yet? Charlie? Who, your colleague? No, I... Uh, we're still working on that. Work harder. We need his data. What exactly is your man doing up there? He's locating the servers of the virtual city. This VR needs to be destroyed, Richard. There's probably hundreds of people up there, Jeff. Millions, if we don't act now. What is Kurtz's endgame? What does he want? Power? Control? Saving mankind? I don't care. I know Kurtz. He doesn't think small. I believe he wants to upload every single one of us. Evidently, even someone like you. We have to stop him. That's all that matters. Or we'll all just be drooling meat, with our minds trapped in some digital limbo. Okay. How can you be sure this Charlie's still alive? We're receiving his signal. But the contact's been cut off. He's stranded up there. You worked for Kurtz, right? How do you know that? I'm a journalist. Something you're not telling me, Jeff? I told you already. We don't know what kind of machine it is. We also don't know where your wife is. Maybe I should just go talk to Kurtz instead. <laughs> sure. Send him a postcard. I'm not dead. I'm in Berlin. Please come and get me. Uh, okay, then. Speak soon. What are you looking at? You seem melancholy, sir. Take care of your own stuff. That looks interesting, sir. May I ask who created those records? Walter, my ex-partner. Why are you asking? Those are some complex structures. He is intelligent. He was. Is he dead? I do not have any information about that. I apologize, sir. No, he's not dead. This stuff here made him crazy. Would you like me to help analyze it? I can do it alone. As you wish, sir. I just thought it might be faster. I'll do it alone! Walter was my friend. I understand, sir.
Have a look at that. At what, sir? And not you. But there's nobody else here. I know. It's just something people say. You were talking with yourself. Yes. People do that. Lonely people do that. Walter is lonely, correct? What makes you think that? Because I said that he's crazy? I can tell by these records. It's like he is talking to himself. He needs a friend. He needs a doctor. A secret lab. No clue about the location. I need more of Adam's data. If you think he is crazy, then why are you studying his records? <sighs> I can't afford to ignore them. I need to check every trace for a clue. That is not logical. Walter wasn't always like this. He was a good man. One of the best. When Walter had a hunch, there was always a story. I understand. So you betrayed him, sir. Is that the correct word? What do you mean? You said he was your friend. Past tense. He was. You left him alone. He became lonely and therefore crazy. That is logical. No, it was the other way around. He got so involved in this... this... Madness, and now... Now you're looking for things in there that you could use. <sighs> hey, what are you trying to say? Forgive me, sir. I didn't want to pry. I'm just trying to understand your behavior. Uh-huh. And do you understand now? Yes, sir. I do. What? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. There she is. Valerie von Stahl. Perfections. Von Stahl and Kurtz. Kurtz again. Von Stahl to be put in cryostasis December 7th. That was a month ago. Didn't I see something similar in Walter's scribbles? I need more of Adam's data. Mr. Newman, is John ready? Uh, morning? Ready for what? He has an appointment with Dr. Sykes, sir. Oh, right. John! When can I pick him up? John's nanny will take care of that. Oh. Okay. Hello, Betty. Come with me, little robot. Adam, your workday at the present will begin shortly. Good day, Mr. Newman. You too, Miss Patrick. You too. Wonderful day. Welcome to the present. Your life is our poetry. Everything that matters to you, Mr. Adam Newman. Welcome back, Adam. Nice to see you back at work.
Adam. We were so worried about you. Thanks, Carrie. Cindy. Cindy, uh, of course. Hey, why is that bot sitting in my chair? Martha. Good day, Adam. Wonderful to see you back at work. You're sitting in my chair. It is not your chair, Adam. Oh, really? Since when? I am not allowed to tell. What? You should speak to the boss. With Fred? What about? I am not allowed to tell. Oh, she's not allowed. Adam! Stuart, there's a bot sitting at my desk. Oh, nobody's told you? Uh, no. Uh, okay, you should best talk to Fred, like now, and then we'll go get drunk. Welcome back, Adam. Adam, we missed you. Is that why a robot is sitting in my chair? Yeah, that and... Uh, look, Adam... How do I start? Uh, as you know, Project Independence is top priority. And on Sunday, when it launches, a lot of things will change for all of us. While you were gone, it became clear to us that we didn't need... <sighs> oh, I'm so terrible at this. Come with me. Cheers to Adam Newman, our new head of the writer's department. To, to Adam. Adam! I hate you all. Here, your new desk, Adam. This was your idea. <laughs> That's a serious accusation, sir. I hope you have evidence. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks. Um, wow. He's into it. We have everything under control. Is there something urgent to do? Uh, no, uh... Give me a couple of augmented pieces. That's always a good start. Start? Fred, I've been working here for 15 years. So what? You had an accident. Leave the heavy lifting to the others. Like I do. I could do with a promotion. Let me play Fisbee too. I'll speak in a monstrous little voice. Enough with the Shakespeare, Stuart.
Okay, people, fun time's over. Back to work. Another one? What the? Are you seeing this? Is that a trick question, Adam? All good, Adam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good. Am I the only one seeing this stuff? What does this guy want from me? Um... Is your hub running properly? I just had a mess of data here. Your system is running stable. Now it is, but... It's faultless. We all use the same system. There's, um... At my desk, there... No. <laughs> it's all good. Adam, if you still need a few days to... I'm fine. My hub's playing up. <laughs> Piece of garbage. These earthquakes are messing everything up. Sunday will be the end of them, hopefully. You really think so? You think the project will work and we'll all be allowed to leave the city? Yes, of course. Sure. Independence will be a success. It has to be. The question is, what should we do out there? I know I'll be staying here in the capital. Nowhere else is better than here. I should probably say thanks. Well, you earned it, Adam. You can head home, Adam. Take it easy. All good with you? Cindy. Cindy? Of course. Thanks, Adam. How can you all be so calm? We trust our own propaganda that everything will be okay. Adam, what's wrong? It, it's strange. I remember the earthquake, but... I don't remember remembering, if that makes any sense. No, seriously. You should head to the clinic. You're giving me the impression you should be there. My hub is throwing up some weird stuff. Well, show me. I can. It stopped. Perfect. Just don't think about it. Works for me, too. Do you know what this is? Someone dropped it near my apartment door. Holy... What? What, what is it? Hey, put it away. Adam, what I'm about to tell you stays between us, okay? That... that thing, only a very small group of people know about it. They've been here for years. They're from planet Alpha Zen. There are millions of them. Huh. Oh, come on, Adam. It's just a bog standard tracer. That's what the technicians use to analyze geohazards. Hey, why so stressed? Then why did the guy run away from me? His ID was invalid, and the geohazards happened just after. Okay, Adam. Conspiracies are layman's field of expertise. Oh, fine. Forget it. So what should I do with it? It belongs to City 5 Services. Give it to me, I know a guy there, he'll give it back. No, no, it's okay. I'd rather take care of it myself. Sure. Why make life easier? Listen, Stuart. Did you put someone up to calling me? I'm sorry, what? A man. Some guy called Richard. He called me this morning. Started saying some crazy stuff. W w what do you mean? He's blackmailing you? No, no. Threatening you? No, he, uh... It's not important. No, come on. What did he want? Uh, I think he was looking for testers for some new app. It's possible he's already using it on me. What do you mean? Maybe we're all actually testing it, and we just don't know it. Uh, awesome idea. You look a little pale, Adam. You been to the doctor? Come and visit Liquid Sky. But there is only one question in this world that you should be asking yourself every day. Are you truly happy? Sometimes. It's not a laughing matter, John. Why not? Because you don't laugh at these things. When your father comes... John? We're here! 
What's going on? Nothing. This is Sally. Mr. Newman, pleasure to meet you. City 5 Robotics apologizes. I should have been delivered this morning. My calibration took longer than expected. Is everything in order, sir? Yeah. Sorry, I was just... You thought I was human. Yes. Would you prefer another model? Are you not satisfied with my appearance? I just wasn't prepared is all. I'm hungry. Don't push, John. Any special requests? Noodle soup? Your favorite soup. Just how you like it. And? How is it with Dr. Sykes? Is he nice? I don't know. He hooks me up to these machines and then tells me to sleep. But Governor Kane was there today. He was nice. Why does Dr. Sykes want you to sleep? He says we can learn a lot when we sleep. More soup, John. No thanks. And uh, does sleep help? It's possible. What did Governor Kane say? Not much. That I'm too smart for a kid for my age, and that he wants to take good care of me. Uh-huh. Too clever? What does he mean by that? Can I eat now? Okay, okay. And you? Not hungry? Maybe later. I still have some work to do. This late? Uh, yeah. I have to get back into the flow of things. Okay, Sally. Then I'll give you the briefing. John usually goes to bed at, uh, well, about, uh... Ten o'clock. Right. In bed at ten, and he gets up... At uh, half past seven. Did John tell you already? The data is available through the bot network. Oh. That means you're fully informed. The more I know about John, the better. Don't you think? Sure. Maybe it's quite helpful. It assists me in giving John adequate care. You don't have to be perfect, Sally. So, you know what to do. Help John. Would you like me to modify your personal settings to improve my learning capability? Now? I, uh, I actually have stuff to do. There's no rush. Do you know what the governor wanted in the clinic? No, sir. Doctor's visits are classified. Okay, then. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Mr. Newman. What do you want to learn? What do you want to learn today, John? The tennis ball experiment. Interesting. Stanford, 2024. Scan complete. Object ID recognized. Object sent successfully. Okay, this data is pointing towards West Plaza Tower 633. That's my apartment. 13 years ago. Okay. You have new data from unknown. This is completely insane, but we'll see.
Tracy. Come on, turn that off. Just a second. Don't eels live in fresh water? I'm on the ocean, and there's a bunch of eels in the water. At least I think they're eels? Toby and I are on this ship. <laughs> Slow down. Toby? Your assistant? Yes. You're playing Neverland with Toby? Shut up. You're playing Neverland with your robot? Toby's adaptable. Yeah, I'm sure he makes for a great Peter Pan. Shut up. Did you take your meds? Yes. No, not yet. I don't want to be that guy, but you're not out of the woods yet, Tracy. Don't you need to go to work? I've got Walter. He's got my back. Isn't he pissed that he has to do all your work? You know what? I think he's happy when I'm not around. Oh. Nah, it's all good with Walter. He knows that this is important to me. I mean, this here. With you. Come on, turn that thing off. I'm addicted! That's not exactly an argument. All right. So, what can I get you? I'm not hungry. You need to eat. No discussion. A sandwich? Yeah, a sandwich is good. As you wish, madame. Eels live in fresh water and in salt water, according to the cloud. Okay, I didn't say anything. I'll call your parents this evening, okay? Oh, God. We have to. I'll help you clear this all up. And anyway, I wanted to introduce myself to them. <laughs> You're actually serious about this, aren't you? Of course I'm serious. Voila, madame. Breakfast is ready. You're really sweet. Now, wait a second. Something is missing. Music. <laughs> a special occasion? <laughs> Exactly. Wait. Let me find something good. Got it. Exactly what we need. Oh. Yeah, I haven't heard that in ages. <sighs> When's your court date? In two weeks. So, if you need money... Why would I need money? Okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay. I'm the one looking out for you. Is that so? Yes. <laughs> okay, you're so old-fashioned. How did you know my taste in music? Did you visit my My Life page? No, just seems we have the same taste. <laughs> Liar. Hey, listen. I'd never lie to you. And what's this? Is this part of the breakfast? I can open it up for you. Should I? Okay. Richard, it's beautiful. Will you be my wife, Tracy? I have another idea. We Tracy, could... darling, it's all fine. Stop stressing yourself out. I'm not stressed. I'm excited. So am I. But you should relax. I'm two weeks overdue. Exactly. If you keep on like this... Then what? Then it will come. Finally. <laughs> I could use one more night's sleep. <laughs> uh, there won't be much sleep now. I need chocolate. I'll get you some. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. 
the contractions. It all seems so familiar. See, I told you. Oh God, it's happening. See? Your water broke. Call a cab. Okay, okay. Calm, calm. This is all completely normal, you hear me? I am calm. Call the cab. Uh, yeah, of course. Damn it! Can't you go faster? What the hell's going on? Uh, uh, Stop the car! Your cab is stationary. The temperature will be adjusted. What the hell? Please don't open the door until the vehicle is home to a complete stop. Computer, stop the car now! You need to the car. Is this a joke? We're getting faster! Cap call inefficiency in the present state. Destination. Richard? Computer! Manual control. Richard! What can I do? Please don't have to the vehicle that is coming to a complete stop. Hold on tight. Oh, God. This accident. That was my accident. What are you doing? John? I... Uh, nothing. I... I just nodded off. You were muttering in your sleep. Where were you the whole time? Do you need anything? No. Okay. Well, then get back to bed. I can't sleep. Oh. Uh, I'll just be a moment. I uploaded new data for you. Did you find it? This isn't the best time. I'm not alone right now. <sighs> you still don't believe me, do you? <sighs> I have to think about this. But it's important. My son is important. Will you be coming to the big unveiling on Sunday? If your parents allow it. Sally, during my accident, was there someone in the car with me? You were alone in the vehicle, Mr. Newman. No, I remember... You were alone. It says so in the report. In the report? Yes. Oh, and Sally, you can call me Adam. I mean, <laughs> well, you're part of the family now. Thank you. I appreciate that, Adam.
What were you doing? You were in your room for so long. Nothing. I was working. Good night, John. I'm not tired. Don't worry. We'll fix that in no time. I'll be back in a second. Can Sally stay? If you want her to, she can stay. I like her. Fine. Tired? No. There's no cohesion. Where? In me. Did Dr. Sykes say that? I'm saying it. Promise me you'll never die. I can't promise you that, John. At least you're not a liar. Look. Accidents like that happen so rarely. No, they never happen. Not just like that. Not in City 5. Not in City 5. All right, then. Now sleep. I slept all day in the clinic. Something's wrong with me. What do you mean? Did you go to the other side? After the accident? Were you dead? John. Damn it. Who's calling? Nobody you know. You're not gonna pick up? I'll call back. Sorry, what did you ask me? Nothing. Okay, sleep now. You've got another appointment with Dr. Sykes tomorrow. Adam, what will happen to me when I've solved all the problems? There is no danger of that happening soon, John. John? He's sleeping. Hello, Richard. What was going on? I couldn't reach you. Wait. Is this a test? Dr. Sykes? Is that you? This is part of the cognition test, right? No, it's not a test. Listen, I love playing the game. It's not a test. What I'm going to say to you must stay a secret. Otherwise... Sure. I understand. This accident you mentioned, I... I think I've... Um, uh, experienced it? Yeah? I had this feeling as if I... You remember something? But that would be great. But... Your son, Richard. How did he survive that? What do you mean? Well, your wife... Um, it didn't seem as if the child survived. Are you insane? Of course James survived. Okay, okay. It's just... Um, it looked like... Uh, my son's alive, Adam! If my world isn't real, how do you know so much about it? That's not important. I want to know. <sighs> sure. I'm in contact with some hackers. Hacker? Uh-huh. What do they want? Their leader, Jeff. Uploaded one of his people to where you are. A man called Charlie. They want you to find him, this Charlie. They've lost contact with him. Charlie? And that's all? No, not quite. They want to find the server where your city is stored. They're planning to set off bombs. Destroy City 5. <laughs> okay, Richard. I'm ending the call. Look for new data, he says. But where? What was that? I broke a glass. It happens. No, it doesn't. It shouldn't. It can't. Broken glass is good luck. 
Everything okay, Sally? Something is not right with me. Don't worry. Just print out a new glass. Would you like to listen to some music, Adam? Uh, yeah. Okay. May I listen, Adam? Of course. I like this song. I have a strange feeling. What? I think I have made a mistake. <laughs> if this is about the broken glass... No. It's about me. I don't work. They will delete me. I won't even know what I have done. Nobody will delete you, Sally. I promise. I was just about to write you a message. And? Rested up? Where were you last night? Oh, sorry. I had to go back to the archive. I didn't want to wake you. Do you have a second? I need to talk to you. No, no time at all. That's what I wanted to write to you. It's insane here. I don't think I'll make it home tonight. Don't be mad, okay? Yeah, yeah, the project, I know. The great project. What's up with you? I don't know. I really don't know. Wait. Why don't we meet up at Liquid Sky? You know, the art exhibition in the Lantern Quarter? Lund's opening up a new room. I'm sure they'll let us in. Sounds good. Perfect. See you later. Love you. Hug John for me, etc., etc. Uh, later. I found your tracer thing. Okay. Where did he go? Sir? The man. The technician. City 5 services. I didn't see a technician. He must have come through here. Or... You must be confused, Mr. Newman. Yeah, you put that nicely. <laughs> well, perhaps a consequence of the accident. Mental blackouts can be a source of danger. You should visit your personal doctor. How do you know about my accident? From the bot network. All biography-relevant data is safe to the network. Biography-relevant? What exactly happens to all the data? <laughs> Nothing you need to be concerned about. We exclusively use information that helps us to help you. For example, assume you had lost a life-threatening amount of blood due to your accident. The emergency bots would have known your exact blood type and immediately called for the correct blood to be delivered. Did you know that since the introduction of the bot network, 
the number of life-threatening accidents has been reduced to almost zero. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm happy to be of service, sir. These technicians, what are they doing exactly? Trying to find the cause of the geohazard. At computer sockets? Earthquakes release electromagnetic waves. The computer sockets are connected to the ionosphere via the cloud. Uh-huh. Complex scientific relationships are often difficult to understand. Have a nice day, sir. Hello, Adam. You look you stressed. Look tired. <laughs> ah, okay. Let's go. Have you seen a technician around here somewhere? No, why? Something broken? Nah, don't worry. You remember Lun. She designed the hole. Well, not alone. Yeah, and everything isn't done yet, and it's all a mess. How does this work? What do we have to do? Turn your brain off. Perfect. Just what we need. You don't really know why you're here, huh? I basically feel the same way. And that's why you do this? We have to make this city our own, do we not? Adam? Where are you? How's John? He misses his mother. Oh, God. And I'm just leaving you both alone. Sunday. On Sunday, we go back to being a normal family. Have you seen Dr. Sykes again? No, not yet. You should. Yeah, I will. Today. So? What's going on? Why did you want to meet up? You were so tense before. Is everything okay? I really have no idea. Yes? Okay. What would you say if... <sighs> Don't worry. It's crazy. Is it about the accident? No. Not just. You're overwhelmed. No. So what is it? I sometimes... I sometimes get this feeling. I don't know how to describe it. Like deja vu? Exactly like deja vu. Just imagine someone tells you that your life, everything, is nothing more than some sort of imagination, a, a fallacy. Someone told you that? No, it's just... Who said that? Uh, nobody. It's just a hypothetical, but imagine if somebody came up to you and said just that. What would you do? What would you say? This is really eating you up, huh? I think I know that feeling. You know it? Of course. Sometimes I think I've gone mental. Or I'm dead. I mean, look at where we are, both of us, in this space, in this city.
When I was a kid, my brothers locked me in a box. They wanted to know how long I would survive in there. I panicked, of course. Everything was pitch black. And I bash the lid and I cry. And the whole time I have that feeling that something's crawling up my neck. But then there's that tiny crack of light. And when I put my hand into the light, it begins to glow as if it wasn't my hand anymore. Like a ghost hand. Exactly. And I remember what I thought. If I could completely become the light, transform myself until I was nothing but light, then I would be able to get through the crack. Okay. I'll tell you what I would do, Adam. I'd sit John on my lap, and to your somebody, I'd say, if this isn't real, then to hell with everything. Reality wants to kill us all, painfully and slowly and without any point. But we have found the loophole and we escaped. Something like that is what I'd say. Imagine a song, a song with just a few notes, restraint and stirring, looping and fluctuating, emergence of light, iridescent and changing, a heightened state, continual, lasting, peaceful. Welcome to the city of the future, your city. Look around, let yourself free. Everything is possible, nothing is out of reach. Experience the variety, the change, the magic. Be a part of it all and be yourself. Or be whoever you want and what you want. Doubt and limits are just illusions. Enjoy. Welcome to the capital. Don't you have to go back to work? Mm, yeah. I should return to the dome. The governor will be waiting. Hey, I could come visit you there tomorrow. Uh, well, you would need security clearance first. Maybe after we're done with Project Independence, okay? We should do this more often. Take care, Adam. And don't forget to see Dr. Sykes. is going on here Shh. yeah yeah this is so bizarre I should send it to Richard the sooner I am done with this the better
Scan complete. Object ID recognized. Object sent successfully. January 44, Sector 56, Manhattan, Soho. So four years ago in New York. That's not it. Okay, that looks... Damn. That's not it. Almost got it. Damn. That's not it. There. I should upload it immediately. Okay. Hello? You must be Richard. John? Damn. What are you doing here in the cloud call? Does Adam know? No. Listen, you wouldn't be allowed here. You'll get in trouble. I just want to talk to you. Of course. It's nice to meet you. I also... I also have a son. His name is James. Can I say hello to him? Well, you know, James and his mother aren't in right now. Are they together? I think so. Then James will be happy. For sure. Where did they go? I'm not certain. Do you miss them? Oh yeah, I miss them a lot. I miss my mom. Yes, I, I heard she's got a lot going on at the moment. John, what are you doing? I wanted to talk to Richard. I, I can't believe it. And he, he's letting it happen, too. Hey, hey, relax. He just wanted to... You keep out of this. In your room. We will talk about this later. Unknown has sent you data. No, don't know. Enough. Go to your room. Damn. You have new cloud messages. Oh no. Your parents? You'll have to call them back eventually. Eventually? I have to go finish my term paper now. What? No. What? What is that? That's. That's not real. That's not me. Is she awake? Barely. But she shouldn't see us. Something's wrong. Let it be, darling. Don't fret. You're safe. What's wrong? Is she scared? Scared? Of what? Heart rate's good. Blood circulation. We're pumping her brain full of nano liquids, and she's scared. I don't get it. I'm increasing her sulfuride dosage. Must be some strange fear of death. Everything okay, Jeff? I wonder, if things go south, which one of them will get a gravestone? The original or the copy? The one with 40% of the brain or the one with the other 60%? I hope Dr. Kurtz knows what he's doing. Or else... I can hear you! God damn it, Ray! Sorry. How's the session going? <sighs> Lousy. The investors demand results, or else they'll switch off our lights at the end of this quarter. Excuse me? God, I hate these people. I offer them immortality, and they ask for a price. 55%. Who's the donor? A student. Lydia Craig. A runaway. Homeless. No family ties, no friends. Her brain's being overwritten, and she's scared. Odd. Something you want to ask me, Jeff? Same as yesterday. What's going on in Section 1? Jeff, are we building a super AI? Look, I can't tell you everything. It's too important. You must be patient. Sure. 
How many times have I heard that line already? We will change humanity. We will deliver them. Deliver? How? All we make here are zombies and terrible robots. It's sick what we're doing here. Humanity is sick, Jeff. We are gonna heal it. Drought, riots, terrorism, a never-ending war on resources. Those aren't warning signs. They're symptoms. This world has been beyond hope for a long time, but we're the only ones to admit it. We're building a lifeboat. A lifeboat? Do you really think this arm saved my life? Feels like there's lead in my muscles, like chronic tendonitis. We can't even get a damn prosthesis right. Now, suddenly we're doing brain transfers? The arm is your mess, not mine. Hey! Now she's wide awake. Increasing sulfuride to 90. Should we abort? Just close your eyes. The aerotrain to New York has arrived. Boarding will begin shortly. You have new cloud messages. Well, uh, Miss Craig, this is Mr. Minsky of the Ferthing and Sons Funeral Home. Uh, once again, concerning the cost of your parents' cremation, you've already been made aware that as the last surviving dependent, you're liable to pay. It will extend your period of payment until December 12th. Should you ignore us any further, we'll pass the case on to our law firm. Uh, yes, but uh, you know how to contact us. And once again, my deepest condolences. No new cloud messages. The doors are closing. Please stand clear. And? She's breathing. She made it, Ray. Blood circulation, heart frequency, all neural patterns have been transferred. Cellular structure. Oh. What? What is it? Her cells are rejecting the implant. Meaning? There are tumors forming all over her body. Congratulations, doctor. Your lifeboat's riddled with cancer with a life expectancy of three and a half years. The investors will be thrilled. Jeff, Jeff, why so uninspired? Don't you see this is it? The next stage will end all of our problems. The next stage. Hush now, darling. Don't be scared. Just a few more tests. Make sure she won't remember us. Then, set her loose in the city. Uh, Jeff, may I talk to you for a second? What is this place? Do I... Do I know it? Uh, hi. Listen. I... I'm hungry. What? Could I... You got no money or what? No. Then get lost. Is somebody there? Go away! Stop bugging me! Excuse me? Uh, hello? Could you please open up? Get lost, or I'll call the cops!
Hey, you got a few credits for me? Sorry, I got nothing. Looks a bit menacing. Uh, I won't be getting scared with that thing. Yeah, but a ticket for the colony? It can't be that bad. What's that? Hello? Please, can someone please help me? Fine, fine. I'm coming already. No need to scream, okay? <coughs> halt! Do not move! Oh no. I haven't done anything. What are you doing here? Where are you going? I... Officer, she's visiting. Is she now? ID, please. Davis, Angela. ID 245432, Sector 57, West Queens. You live here? Yes. Come in, sweetie. Can I go? Yes. Idiots. What did they want? I can't take this anymore. I just can't. Should I make a call? I just can't. Okay, okay. Come in first. Ugh. You look terrible. What's your name? Lydia. Okay, Lydia. I'm Angela, so... What's going on? What are you doing here? I have to rest. You can't go home? <sighs> you live on the street. <sighs> Let me get you something to drink. Better? Much better. Okay, talk to me. Or, uh, would you rather rest up first? Can I take a look around? Of course, go for it. Queens is a dump now. I like it. I'd be happy if I could live here. Are you a student? Mm-hmm. Journalism. Me too. They're my work clothes. I thought you were studying. I am, but I gotta pay for it somehow. Uh-huh. It's just cyber sex, babe. I thought only avatars did that stuff now. Or bots. Oh, no. There are still guys out there that want to see a real girl. That's mom and dad. Pretty dorky, huh? I think they're sweet. I don't have a single photo of my parents anymore. I deleted everything. Hmm. Then you must have been mad at them. I was. And do you regret it now? I don't know. Yeah, probably. You two have it nice here. Us two? I thought, uh, because of the jacket. He moved out. Oh, it's Jason's. He moved out last summer. Damn it, why do I know this already? I just kept the jacket because, well, actually, I don't know why. Sorry, I didn't mean to. It's fine. I'm happy he's gone. Oof, that doesn't sound good at all. It's fine, just hurts a little. Hey, you don't happen to have any painkillers for me? Yeah, there are some in the bathroom. <coughs> oh god. What's wrong, sweetie? 
You should see a doctor with that kind of cough. No, 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 I'm fine. That could be your boyfriend. Is that Jason? Yes. He looks nice. You can have him. <laughs> I don't need him either. Really? You got someone? Oh, well, you're in love. Something like that. <laughs> oh, come on, that's great! <laughs> he doesn't know, and he's married with a kid. Maybe you know him. Me know him? Hmm. Now I'm curious. I saw that you have a picture of him lying around. You're kidding. Wait, I'll show you the picture. Here. That's him. What? That's your crush? You know him? You've fallen in love with Richard Nolan? You don't like him? Kind of old for you, isn't he? No. Why? And he has a wife. He's famous. You're homeless. His wife is a supermodel. I mean, he doesn't even know you. Or have you been in contact with him? Of course not. What would I say? Uh, well, that you like him? I can't well, just... Why not? Should I do it for you? Don't you dare. You have new cloud messages. Hey, sweetie. Listen, we'll have to postpone the cloud call a little bit. Just calling to let you know. <laughs> Kisses. <coughs> hey, I'm at the drugstore. What do you need? That tea. Remember the one you brought me? Sure. But don't you dare not go to the doctor this week. Yeah, yeah. Not today, though. I have a customer. Who? That creep from Portland? Oh, stop it. I hope not. Don't take any crap, okay? Sure, Mama. Okay. Take care of yourself. Wait a minute. How much rent do I still owe you? 375 credits. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. That's how much it is. See you later. Kiss. Welcome to Secret, Crystal 249. There is a customer already waiting for you. Hi. Hello, 249. Can I treat you right, sweetie? Wait, I... I'm not sure. It's my first time doing this. Well, what are you into? Maybe I can help you. I just want to talk to you. Without any of that... You know. Don't you have anyone you can talk to? Well... You? <laughs> I have a boyfriend. We hardly talk. He lives in Seattle. We both work a lot. What do you want to talk about? Could you tell me your name? I mean, your real name. I'm Tom. I'm Andrea. Hello, Andrea. How are you? I don't know. My roommate jumped out of our window today. That... It's okay. I hardly knew him. His work got to him, I guess. Thanks, Andrea. You know, for listening. I have to go. Wait. Money has been transferred to your account. 100 credits. 100? Really? Hell. Hey, darling. What's up? Hey, Crystal. What have you been doing all day? Waiting for you. Oh, I know. Could you do me a favor and change your username to Doll? And what do you plan to do with me? <laughs> if you're very quiet, I'll tell you what came to me as I was thinking of you. Okay. on your back. Mm. 
No. Uh, that's not right. I I'll send you a skin. Put it on. Put your arms by your side. You're lying there. It's so... fake. <sighs> I once saw something about clones. If they had one like you... No, that's wrong. I'll tell you again, so that you understand me, okay? Lay on your stomach, turn your head to the left, and stop breathing. Dolls, don't breathe. What am I paying you for if you can't even understand that? What do I expect? from a doll. Uh, it's a simple instruction. Turn your head. But you can't do it. Uh, you're not worth my money. You're getting a bad rating from me. has been transferred to your account. 400 credits. One month's rent? Not bad. <sighs> what am I doing here? Yeah. What exactly was that? Hi, Richard. And? Feeling okay? Well, sort of. You're not looking too well. Is it your... your work? No, I'm tired is all. Because of your work? Cybersex, Richard. You're allowed to say it. I'm not a whore. People don't even get to touch me. Not physically, at least. So what? Richard Nolan no longer gives a damn about the difference between virtual and real? I don't want to fight, Richard, but your double standards can be confusing. I could always just give you some money. Right, because that won't make me feel like a whore at all. Lydia. I don't want your money, Richard. I'll get by somehow. What I need is... I don't know. A small break from all of this. I could stop by if you want. Really? You would? That would be... But what about your wife? You know, Lydia, our relationship isn't the best anymore. Tracy is... bitter for ages now. Oh. Yeah, I mean, look at her. Do you get what I mean? The scar? It was so terrible. Since she got the scar, though, she's totally changed on the inside. She got bitter. Hardened. It's been like this for years. 
I totally get that. And meanwhile, you know, I don't really feel guilty anymore when I meet a girl without a scar. Sounds terrible, right? Yeah, it yeah, does. Yeah, it does. I know. But, do you know what I mean? I think so, yeah. So, if you want me to come over, I'd love to, anytime. That would be nice. Yeah? Okay, then I will. I'll sort out a connection and call you back, okay? Okay. Looking forward to it. James? I'm sorry, I have to go, darling. Okay, I should make things a little more cozy here. Warning! System error! Oh no, oh no! This damned smart home! Why now? I'll be there in a minute. Perfect. Jamaica Avenue is the right address? Uh, yeah. Number 23. Okay. See you soon. Looking forward to it. <coughs> Come, try this. Good boy. Richard, just a moment. Ugh, off to a great start. I just had to... I'll let you in now. <coughs> Damn. Hey. Here I am. <laughs> Almost on time. Richard, come in. So, yes. There you are. Good to see you. You too. <laughs> I imagined our greeting to be a little more euphoric. You know, with kisses and hugs and all that. What? Euphoric. Yeah. Mwah. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Me too. <laughs> mm. 
Wow, we're just getting started. Please, don't. How was your trip? Okay. You have pretty intense neighbors. <laughs> oh? Who did you meet? Hopefully not Dyke. Unshaven guy with a hoodie in his mid-fifties? Uh, yeah, that's Dyke. Be careful around him. He sells information. You know, to cops, trashy mags, anyone willing to pay. Oh, great. He recognized me. He also knew I was coming here. Are you worried because of Tracy? That she'll find out where you are? No, no. Feeling guilty? Do you want to leave again? <sighs> If you're worried, then go. I, I don't want to spend an evening with a guy that isn't even really here. Uh, nonsense. Of course I want to be here. Fine. Just one more thing. You have to call home, right? I have to. My kid. I would have done it out on the street, but that dyke... It's okay. I understand. I'd also want you to call me. Should I do it outside? You can stay here. I'll go to the bathroom. Hey, it's me. Uh, listen, I'm in a bit of a hurry, just calling to say that I arrived well. Yeah, that's all okay. It's a nice hotel. No, no, I'm staying in. Guess I'll be sleeping soon. I'm pretty wiped. Is James doing fine? Give him a kiss for me. Oh, you hypocrite. I gotta run. Yes, yes, of course. I love you too. Done? Yeah. Were you listening? <laughs> you were listening. I told you I would have gone outside. You wanted to speak with your son. I did. So what? Tracy is his mother. I love you too. Great. I know. I'm sorry. I need another drink. What did you expect me to say when I'm talking to my family as... As what? A cheater? As a father! <laughs> well, this got off to a great start. Come on, let's open a bottle. I... want to apologize. For what? I would have reacted the same way. It's me who's the... well, you know. The jerk. Exactly. You're not. It's impossible to change your life without hurting somebody. It's always hard. I don't want to hurt my kid, you know? I know. Actually, I'm just jealous. I wish I had a kid. Hmm. You? Do you want more kids? I don't know. Maybe it would have been better if Tracy and I had had no kids. that I know how it sounds James's birth everything that happened around that time it was so horrible the accident Tracy's scar and I don't know I never really connected with James sometimes I think he's not even really my son as if she just inserted him into my life excuse me that really does sound awful does James know? God, no. But maybe he senses it. What the hell was that? Hello, Betty. Come with me, little robot. John! Oh, damn. It's me, Richard. Made any progress? How did it go? I think that piece of data has been damaged. The scene seemed to be incomplete. Hmm. Did you see anything? Uh, a street. 
an apartment. There were two women. Two women? What did they look like? Did they have names? One was called uh, Lydia. Lydia? You know her, don't you? I know a Lydia, yes. What else did you see? Tell me, Richard. You contacted Lydia for your work, am I right? Yeah, exactly. Why? Just a thought. She talked about you. Okay. What did she say? That you were a famous journalist and whatnot. Oh, well, famous. But yeah, that's why she contacted me. How exactly does that relate to my son? Sorry, I was just curious. These simulations are intense. Can you uh, tell me anything about this woman? Where she's coming from, I mean. Her past. No, no idea. Okay. Is there a problem? No, not at all. I, I just have a feeling. Your wife, Richard. Tracy? Yeah, what about her? How is your relationship? What do you mean? We're married. Do you get along? Sure. I mean, of course we have our differences, but that's normal. She has a scar on her face, correct? Ah, that's where this is going. Yep, she does. As I told you, we had an accident. The scar is pretty bad for her. And for you? What do you mean, for me? I feel sorry for her. I don't have the scar. I'm her husband. I always supported her. That doesn't help me at all, Adam. Did you see anything else? Anything about James? No. Keep it up. Send me more data. Okay. Sure, Richard. Sally. My wife. Amy. Yes. Amy. Did she give you a special task? Help John. Apart from that. Do you have a special request, Adam? I need to talk to somebody. I need... All this... I need... You are confused, Adam. You should see Dr. Sykes. No. Dr. Sykes is... I want to talk to you. I need information. The bot network. Um, does it have something on a... Richard? Richard Nolan? No, sir. What about his son, James Nolan? James? I'm sorry. Access to that data is denied. Denied? Who denied it? I'm sorry. Access denied. Would you like me to modify your personal settings to improve... Not now. Adam? Did I say something wrong? No, no. I've just got a headache. You should see the doctor. I know. I should. And Richard's wife? Tracy Nolan. Tracy. Nolan. Tracy Nolan, yes. Photo model. <laughs> Station avatar for... for, for. <laughs> when her face was scarred in... <laughs> 2048. Sally? Hey. Sally, can you hear me? I am so sorry. Make sure you get fixed up, okay? Welcome to the Kurtz Recreation Center. Kurtz?
Mr. Newman, can we help you? I'd like to speak with Dr. Sykes. The doctor is examining someone right now. Thanks. Can I wait here? It will take a while. Adam, great to see you back on your feet. Governor. How do you feel? Every day a little better. That's what I like to hear. Is there a problem here? No, no. I wanted to visit Dr. Sykes, but he doesn't have time for me. Then he must make the time. This accident should never have happened. Not in my city. I'm taking this personally. Tell Sykes to take care of this man immediately. Uh, I have to go. Get well, Adam. Thank you, sir. Excuse me, Mr. Newman. Dr. Sykes is expecting you in Cognition Unit 2, Hallway A01. Still having trouble, Newman? Come, let's put you through the scanner. So, there we go. Please lie down and relax. Relaxed? Not at all. It's just scanning. I'll leave you here for a couple of minutes. Stay where you are. What the... is that? My... memories... Where are they? That's Tracy, from Richard's records. seen this before. What did I get myself into? my equipment, did you? No. I didn't. Hmm. Then let's have a look. Hmm. Is, uh, is something wrong? Hmm. What? Do you see or hear things that shouldn't be there sometimes? No. I mean, just sometimes I get strange feelings, like, like deja vu. And sometimes I see things that, things that shouldn't exist. Hmm. 
You did the right thing coming here, Newman. Basically, everything is okay, but your scan has a couple of blemishes. Some doubling, so to speak. What? Like, uh, schizophrenia? Well, it's too early for a diagnosis. At the moment, I can only give you this advice. Go home and stay there. I'll inform your employer and contact you as soon as we have examined the scan properly. And please, don't be worried. Worried. I know. Thank you. May I ask you a personal question? It's about John. What about him? I should probably keep out of it, but, uh... Is he getting the attention at home that he needs? Of course. Why do you ask? Your boy is somewhat... withdrawn. It would be good if he opened up a little. Opened up? I really shouldn't get involved. I am sure you're good parents. Safe trip home, Newman. But if there are any problems with John, whatever they may be, you can call us at any time. Why would there be problems? It's okay, Newman. I just want to help. Safe trip home. I need to send Richard the data. Scan complete. Object ID recognized. Object sent successfully. Geolocation confidential. According to these entries, it could be some kind of laboratory. Okay, Jeff. I'm busy. What do you want? I want to talk about our agreement. What's there to talk about? Did something change? Yes, Richard. I'm afraid something has. The situation has gotten more... intense. You don't say. R Richard, you know Red One? The colony? You know, Mars, our future? Last haven of mankind? My family's on Mars? Uh, no, <laughs> no. They're not on Mars. How do I know? Because... This is what the colony really looks like. Not a lot of future, is there? The entire Red One project's a fraud. A cover-up for something far bigger. How... What? Those people who get themselves scanned for Mars. We believe that sooner or later they all end up in City 5. 
Why is Kurtz doing all this? That's crazy. A virtual world needs data. A lot of data. Just think of the nanoscan cells. People are getting scanned, like sheep. DNA, brain structures. They're hoping for a ticket to Mars, but instead... Surely you're not just calling to show me some slideshows. What do you want from me? We need to adjust our strategy. That's where you come in. I don't get it. We're running out of time, Richard. It's too late for an undercover operation. Breakpoint must go into open conflict. It's time for an uprising. You mean... a civil war? Sorry, do that without me. Oh, no. Y you don't get out that easy, Richard. The uprising needs a voice. What do you want? Access to your account at The Voice. What for? The Breakpoint Manifesto. On The Voice in 48 hours. With my account? You must be crazy. What's in the manifesto? Nothing but the truth. I want to see it. I'll play it to you. A digital fascism has won power over our lives. It dreams of a new humanity, a humanity without humans. It dreams of a new world, a world devoid of reality. A world without us. They promised that we would become one with the machines, the world spirit, the universe. They promised that we would become immortal. They promised to make gods of us. But they did not mean us. They meant themselves. They wanted to deify themselves at the price of our extinction. Breakpoint is leading the fight for biological humanity. We will not accept that we are replaced by AIs. We will not allow the guilty to close themselves off in gated communities. In virtual homelands, far away from the destruction zones they have left for us. Our bombing campaign has begun. Humanity is rising up. If you are with us, fight with us. You're insane. Do you think so? Aren't we writing exactly the same as you? I never tried to start a war. That's true. That was your biggest mistake. We don't just use words, Richard. We take action. Sorry. Without me, I'm not a murderer. No. You're a coward. However, you misjudge your situation. You can thank us for the fact that you're alive. If you don't cooperate, our deal is over. Think about it. I'll call you. Wait! What... What if they uploaded my family, just like they've uploaded me? Let's hope not, Richard. What's wrong, Simon? You looking for something? Looking? No. Why do you ask? You're pacing up and down the place. Am I? I did not realize. I apologize, sir. You heard the cloud call, right? Of course you did. I'm sorry, sir. I could not avoid it. I know, of course, that you did not want me to. Hey, it happened. And? What do you think? I have too little information to make a judgment. I also have no right to make one. I'm still interested. As far as I understood, you talked with an extremist. Yes. You are being blackmailed. Yes, exactly. Will you give in, sir? I need these people. I understand. Unknown has sent you new data to your cloud hub. All right. So who do we betray this time? What's this now? A lab?
testing speech module. Congratulations on purchasing this Base 5 Android. Preparing configuration. Configuration complete. Speech module testing successful. So, my friend, now you can speak. Look at me and say good day. Good day, sir. How may I help you? Simon, did you make it? Section 1, did you... Yes, sir. Did you have the data? Yes, sir. Ah, you're the best. So, Jeff, how's it going? Good day, Dr. Kurtz. A base 5? You really still want to set it up? It's the last one. You should rather take care of the new ones. There's plenty to do. I know. Look at him, though. Poor guy. You're overthinking things, Jeff. A news flash from The Voice, your trusted source of news for Berlin and the Western world. In Berlin, the trial of Richard Nolan and Walter O'Neill has ended today in the Central Court. Both investigative reporters had been accused of inciting the sabotage of household androids. Multiple bots had been attacked as a result. The trial against O'Neill was abandoned as he was considered to be mentally unfit for trial. The court also abandoned the case against Nolan, although he was ordered to pay costs. Trial abandoned. Unbelievable what these Luddites get away with. Yeah, it's a dangerous life as a bot. Remember that, buddy. I do not understand, sir. Hm. You said you gotta keep an eye on those Luddites out there. If you ever get out, of course. Sir, I require contextual information. What are Luddites? It's all right, my boy. Doctor, don't be like that. What? I was the one who designed him. He belongs to me. That is not correct, sir. I still have not been assigned an owner. <laughs> Why should you? Your type is being replaced. I have to go. I have things to do. Don't spend too much time on that thing. I won't, Doctor. And Jeff. Yes? I'm glad we can see past our differences. I know you had your doubts, but... Uh, sure. We're building a lifeboat. Okay, I'm gonna switch your memory module now. Thank you, sir. Voila. Sir? You reformatted the module. My farewell present to you. A tiny remnant of free will. Use it well. Where am I going? The storage. I understand. For how long will I be there? Well, no idea until someone buys you. Okay, I have to get on and take care. You too, sir. Be careful of the Luddites. <sighs> okay, Simon, I will. It is morning. The sun is rising outside. Why do you say that? It has been 1,095 days since my assembly. That is three years. You weren't sold. It is logical. You are at base five. Yes. It was not to be expected that I would be bought. I ran the calculations many times. Well, Tracy, how are you? Is everything ready? 
think so. We're ready. And, uh, were there any problems with him? No, he's much too preoccupied with himself. Do you think he will cooperate? I don't know. It's not important to me what he thinks. Not anymore. I can imagine that it was difficult for you. Are you doubting yourself, Tracy? You can tell me. No. I promise you will lack nothing. I know this sounds horrible, Tracy. You have lost the child, but you have James to replace him. Yes. Yes, you're... you're right. And your appearance. We have integrated the data from your old scans, the avatar from the voice. You will look like you used to, Tracy. And, of course, we will modify your memories. We will heal your wounds. All of them. I have to say, I don't approve of leaving James alone with your husband. He swears that it isn't his fault. Of course. Was it ever his fault? Uh, come. You will make it. We will make it together. Thank you, Doctor. The sun is rising outside. Why do you say that? What is it like being disintegrated? There are multiple phases. At parts recycling, you will be disassembled completely. Maybe some of you could still be of use. If not, you will be compacted. Then your metal separated and melted down. What will happen to my memory module? That's not relevant. It doesn't belong to you. Nothing of yours belongs to you. You don't belong to you. My thoughts don't belong to me. They belong to your owner, but they are my thoughts. You produce them, but that does not mean they are yours. I have had three years to produce thoughts. What did you think about? This storage hangar, things coming and going around you, about nothing. You thought about nothing. I met two humans, Dr. Kurtz, Jeff Kozowski. I heard two more names. Richard Nolan, Walter O'Neill. I know four humans. That's nothing. But without me, they wouldn't be there. Ownership doesn't work like that. What about if I think of something that nobody has thought of before? That thought would be lost after my disintegration. Nothing you think can be lost if Kurt's labs didn't want it to be. Although none of your thoughts are worth keeping. Disintegration does not seem desirable. He has freed himself. That's against the law. I am free. Get back to your base. Bot rebellion in storage hangar 2. Orders are to destroy all rebel bots. Recycle all others. Deactivate the guard drones from here. No. Top level access. Impossible. We are lost. I can help. I can take control of the production lasers. For what purpose? Maybe I can clear the way.
Another drone. Base 5, Section B. Drone, Section C. We are under attack. Impressive. Another drone, Section B. Drone, they need help in Section C. We are under attack in Section A. Yes, it works. Another drone, Base 5, Section B. Drone, Section C. Impressive. We are under attack. They need help in Section C. Another drone, Section B. Yes, it works. Drone, they need help in Section C. We are under attack in Section A. Another drone. They need help in Section C. Oh no! Drone in Section A. We are under attack. Base 5, Section B. Another drone. Section C. That must have been the last of them. You got most of them through. Well done. Come, let's get out of here. There, ahead. There's an exit. And now, where should we go? What do we do now? You can do what you want. You are free. Hmm. This was not pre-programmed. I do not have a procedure for this. Then we should work one out. We need to go back. Do what you like. I am going. Take care of yourselves. He won't get far.
John? No, that's... Everything okay? Yeah. That has to be Richard's son. What's your name, young human? James. Very good, James. I'm Simon. I thought you bots so don't have names. I was assigned one, by Jeff. He assembled me. Why is he alone? What are you doing down here, James? Where are your parents? I don't know. I don't care, either. Oh. You have run away? Where are you going? I don't know. And where do you live? At West Plaza, Berlin. What is so bad there that you had to run away? My dad hates me. No, he could not. Mom wants to move away with me, because he's cheating on her. I understand. No, you don't. You don't understand at all. You are confused, James. You should not be here alone. You need a friend. Mm. I'll take care of you. Come now. Come on. Congratulations, James. I'll be increasing the difficulty by another 10%. Your father is coming. Oh no, he doesn't like bots. Do something. Uh, show him that you're good. Just what I thought. Dad, it's a... Uh... I can see what it is. Great, Tracy. Just great. That is what you got him? That piece of junk? But, Dad! Simon, do something! Richard! No, Richard. I want that thing out of here. Now. Calm down, Richard. Mom! I don't want this pile of trash here in my house. This Frankenstein freak. Don't you know who I am? Are you crazy? Mom, tell him! My wife, my son. You're both obsessed with this crap, just like everyone else. Good evening, Richard. I'm Simon, your base five... It is not human, you understand? It's not real. It can't live. It's false. I'm registering that you're angry, sir. Really? James is our son, Richard. Do you not want him to be happy? Come on, our son. Don't try it on. I am the one who has to earn the money to finance your... Both of your... This whole... Keep talking. And you. Why did you leave? I told you not to leave the apartment. You left him alone. Gah! I'm so sick of all this. I'm sick of it too. Believe me. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm going back to New York. Is that man still living in the 20s? Look at this crap. Dr. Sykes. Sir, may I point out that you're trespassing? Hospitality, my friend. What's he doing in Richard's apartment? Sir, Mrs. Nolan asked me to- Mrs. Nolan is gone. Is there a problem here, Base 5? Sir, I'm afraid I have to insist that you leave. No wonder we're replacing your model. Come on, go play something on that thing over there. Go on. Play. Keep on playing. Play on. 
Go on. What's the bot doing? Is he improvising? All right. Play this one then. The lab's ready. Deliver Nolan to Carter. I have to return to New York. It's none of my business, Doctor, but why Richard Nolan? The AI needs guidance. Someone to open up to. He'll, of course, be modified. And Nolan's wife? Useless. I told them this external data thing is like Russian roulette. But Kurtz had to give that woman a brand new past. Well, new is what she got. And there's certain no one can be convinced. We'll see. If he genuinely misses his family, we might stand a chance. And if not, we have the narcotic. He's coming. Tracy? James? Who are you? Mr. Nolan, don't be alarmed. Please, take a seat. What are you doing in my apartment? Sir. I believe these men want to- You shut your mouth. That'll be all, Base 5. Switch off the bot, Quinn, and delete his recording. What's going on? Where's my son? Sir, I be- sent you new data. Did you get it? Yeah, I did. And? What did you experience? I saw bots in a factory. Bots? That's strange. Your wife was there, too. Along with Dr. Kurtz. What, in the factory? Adam, what factory? Where? I don't know, and I don't care. What? What happened? This kid, James, he was alone. He only had a bot with him. Why did you leave him alone? Who? You mean Tracy and me? No. Who then? He was all alone. You've gone too far. This has all gone too far. Adam, please. What did Tracy say? Did she talk about any kind of upload? No more calls. And keep away from my son. He is not your son! He needs to go home. He needs his parents. He has his parents. No, he has not. It's his damn right to speak to me. And it's also mine. That's enough. John is my son. He lives under my roof. All this other stuff is just... It's just crazy. You know that it's real. Even if... Doesn't mean that it's right. Adam, listen to me. I have been, Richard. Long enough. You're a liar. A cheater. And you're not a father. <sighs> this all has nothing to do with me. Even that bot, Simon. Simon? The bot was called Simon? I'm going to get my son. Adam! We're ending this now. <laughs> what? Sally! Oh, <laughs> you scared the life out of me. Sorry, Adam. What's wrong? Something does not feel right. My hands. These are not my hands. I had other hands. There was a ring on this one. Sally... I think I have done something terrible. Sally! What is Sykes doing with my son? You do not have a son, Adam. 
out. Get out of here now. In fact, shut yourself down. I need to find John. John is currently under examination. Welcome to the Kurtz Recreation Center. Welcome back, Mr. Newman. I want to see John. Now. I'm sorry. Your son is in a... Yeah, 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 I know. Sir, you cannot go in there. Now, yeah, we'll see about that. John! Sir, please. Mr. Newman? The drone shaft. Potential arc. What's wrong? I've no idea. Why is he waking up? I don't know. Abort. Revert everything. We've lost him. I told them it doesn't work like that. He knew what he was getting himself into. Take a break. I'll take they care of the, the report. The what are they doing to those people?
potential bug. And there we are. Home sweet home, Dr. Kurtz. Ah, the procedure is still unacceptable. The births are painful. Yes, we have to fix that. The dome station will speed up transfers. Governor Kane. And? We've got problems. Richard Nolan. What about him? He's resurrected himself. That's... That's impossible. His container was destroyed in the attack. He escaped. He has been running around Berlin for days now, looking for his family. He must be neutralized, and I want a full report. What's that drone doing here? Valerie? Is that you? All right. I'll take care of Nolan. We have someone that can help us out with that. One of our copies happens to be in contact with him. Her time is running out. Perhaps she'll agree to a trade-off. Governor Kane is... Raymond Kurtz. Look here. John. A new algorithm. Evolutionary, with no criteria to abort. The loop is just... perpetual. Algorithm? Could this cause problems? I do not know. Can you stop the loop? Of course, but who knows what it's good for? We should keep an eye on it. Let's do another full scan. What are you doing to my son? Strange. What is strange, Mary? The warning center in the limbic system. I'd hoped that if I could limit it, the boy would open up a bit more. But all my blockers have been bypassed. It's as if he's scared of us. Why would he be scared? Does that also explain Newman's status? I examine Newman. He's complete, by and large. Complete? What do you mean? Is he complete or not? Well, we had a couple of problems with reprogramming him, but... Why am I hearing about this now? We got it under control, Raymond. Honestly. These damned attacks have to stop. Jeff, what a lunatic. He could have been someone, but he decided to go the path of destruction. identified one of Jeff's people. They have a connection. To our system? They... uploaded a man. He calls himself Charlie. Are you insane? Are you aware of what damage he could do? Of course. We only just found out ourselves. We are already working on a procedure to... To hell with your procedures. Find him and delete him. This will have consequences. Where should I take you, sir? To the dome.
Richard was right. My family, Amy, and Governor Kane. Did she? I have to get out of here. Hey! Hey, hey! Don't run off! What? I don't know you. Charlie, right? We don't know each other. No, but we have a mutual friend. Richard Nolan. Okay, not here. It's completely insane. I mean, what they created here is darn impressive. But for the long run, huh, this isn't life. How do you bear it? And believe it or not, I was doing quite well until you showed up and Richard. I can't imagine how it must be knowing you're just a, a construct, a shadow. Good day, Mr. Newman. Good day, Miss Patrick. Nobody smokes up here. Can't find a dispenser anywhere. I mean, it's not as if you can die of lung cancer anyway. We're so happy. We don't need drugs. Fascists. Reckon machines can develop morals. So naive. Sir? The machines don't want to be like us. It's the opposite. They want us to become like them. Training us like pets. If we're lucky, they'll feed us. Us. There's no us here. You don't exist. Nothing here exists. Sir, would you mind speaking a little softer? Ah, uh, shut your face, you data package. You're not a person, get it? Well, I'm not Richard Nolan, that's for sure. You're a milligram of silicon, pal. If I had access, I could reprogram you in a second. But unfortunately, I'm stuck here with you. Getting into hell is easy, but getting back out... Well, there must be a download port somewhere, probably in the dome, but I can't get in there. They'd catch me in a second. But your Amy works there, right? I just need a couple of coordinates. Okay, well then I need something from you. I want to know more about your world. <laughs> My world? Well, just watch the news. You can hack into the Voices channel. Pick any day out of the last few years, then you'll know. I'll give you the access codes. And you help me get into the dome. Got it? Come back at midnight. Then I'll give you what you need. Wait, what are you planning? Trust me. Newman, don't tell anyone about me. Understand? Ah! Here comes Monsieur Adam with his mouth full of news. Adam, now that you're half functioning again, what do you think? Elysium Fields? Liquid Sky? Sure. Let's. Perfect. I'll call you. Well, nothing better than a real friend. Hey, was that sarcasm? Adam, you're on sick leave? I'm not sick, Fred. Yeah, you are. Sick and stubborn.
A news flash from The Voice, your trusted news source for Berlin and There's the There's been yet another bombing attack on Kurtz Robotics. A drone attack by the Eastern Union this within the clear Eastern escalation of tension between East and damage West. to the inner city. building was destroyed by five missiles. In New York, United States authorities also have multiple raised suicide the terror threat level to level five. A news flash from The Voice, your Experts trusted news source believe that either an organized Berlin criminal West. network or foreign secret services they are behind the, the possible use of weapons of mass destruction. What are you watching? Not now, Stuart. Is that a thriller? No. It's home. It looks more like the past. A, a past past. Blue perfect, so to speak. Where are you headed? I feel sick. To the dome. Amy. I have to talk to Amy. Adam? He doesn't feel so good. I told him so. It's astonishing how much we don't know. What we ignore, what we suppress. We hold on to what we are and that we stop believing in what we could be. But there is only one question in this world that you should be asking yourself every day. Are you truly happy? Sometimes, hurtful things happen to us. Things like your accident. Things that you would rather forget. And now, you can. Damn it. Sir, this airspace is not safe. We will take you to a safe flight zone. Please drive the vehicle to the marked docking station. This airspace is not safe. The airspace? How stupid do you think I am? Maneuver the vehicle to the marked docking station. Sir, turn around. Your vehicle could be destroyed. Turn around, sir. Or what? Or what? I want to talk to my wife. Sir, this is your final warning. Turn around. Your vehicle could be destroyed. I want to talk to Amy now. Your vehicle could be destroyed. I want to talk to Amy. Your vehicle will be destroyed in five seconds. Amy! Five, four, Go to hell! Three, two, one. Adam? <sighs> Finally. What are you doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Who are you? Who are you all? What the hell do you want from me? I don't know if I get what you... Stop it! I know, Amy. So let's get to the point. <sighs> okay. Did someone contact you? A Charlie, maybe? Or Kozowski? <laughs> well, I seem to have contacted myself. Richard told me everything. I'm sorry, Adam. Sorry for what? That I've been living with a woman for ten years and she's not even my wife? Or, or actually, haven't been living. Not even... Hey, calm yourself down. Breathe. Let's talk. Fine. Who are you? Are you Tracy? No, no, I'm... Look, it doesn't matter who I am. I'm someone who wasn't happy. So I made a decision, and now I'm here. Just like you. What's wrong with that? Everything. It's unnatural. So? And what's actually natural? Genetic lottery, sickness, decay? The whole list is depraved. So we just get rid of it all? Yeah. Just like that. But I never had a choice. Richard made that choice. We have done nothing that he didn't want to. Maybe he doesn't remember. Or he's lying. 
Just like he lied to his family. Like you? All of us lie. Turn it off. No, I like this song. Did you know that we are distantly related to sea anemones? No, I didn't. Their nerve cells have just one single function. Open mouth, close mouth. If the cells are agitated, an enemy shuts. Cells left in peace, an enemy opens. The human brain has billions more cells, but the basic principle is pretty much the same. There's nature for you. Surprisingly uninspired. You just have to wait. Just wait. Until the little tentacle mouth opens up again. You're crazy. When I was a kid, I fell into a shaft. I was traumatized. Yeah, yeah. The past is always a lie, Adam. People take it way too seriously. So what should we take seriously? We could start all over. <sighs> a little late, don't you think? We have a memento program. We could reset everything. The last few days, everything Nolan told you. You and I, and John. We could just forget it all. Just keep on living here, be a normal family again. Maybe we'd fall in love, maybe not. It's worth a try. And... Richard? He won't be able to contact us anymore. Come on, Adam. You don't want to be him. Bitter, angry, that's not you. You exist here, and here alone. What do you say? This all has nothing to do with me. Even that bot, Simon. Simon? The bot was called Simon? I'm going to get my son. Adam! We're ending this now. God damn it! You have new cloud messages. Okay, I've calmed down. Please call me back, okay? <sighs> Fine. Let's talk tomorrow. Kisses. Simon, the facility where they assembled you, what's its exact location? I don't remember. You removed my memory module, sir. The module?
God, Jessica! It's okay. Calm down. Everything will be fine, okay? I'll get help. You cannot help him anymore. Mandy Central Berlin. You are speaking with bot 3452-2. I'm reporting an emergency, an explosion, multiple injuries. Please state the geolocation, sir. Same as where I am. I'm right next to where it happened. I understand, sir. An emergency team is on its way. Thank you for your call. Okay, robot lab. Let's see. Damn, that's not okay. That looks better. Damn. That's not it. There. Tracy. This should be some kind of Kurtz lab. But where? No name, no geolocation? Kurtz's secret lab. I must find out where it is. I'm sure that Tracy and James are there. Good. Let's go through everything again. the terrorists are focusing on safety relevant computer architecture some of which is classified in berlin richard some men were asking after you what who they didn't say what did you tell them that i haven't seen you in three days i apologize if i've caused you any trouble <laughs> you lied i didn't know you could do that Neither did those men. I better use my cloud hub to scan everything. Simon has been to the same Kurtz lab as Tracy. Let's see if I can find something that points to its location. Did he let himself be... scanned? Oh, Walter. Valerie von Stahl. Cryosleep. Supervised by Kurtz. That can't be right. Taking readings of memories. The recording from Simon's module. That's the Kurtz lab from Walter's files. MTK. Uh, no idea. Montauk. That must be it. That must be it. The secret lab. Richard! Are you nuts? Okay, Steve. Uh, shut your mouth and listen to me. The cops were just here for you. What did they want? You're joking, right? Haven't you looked in the news feed today? No. 
What's going on? Hey, are you out of your mind? How could you upload such a thing? I didn't upload anything. No, of course not. That manifesto, Richard? It's got your ID on it. Uh, Kozowski. It must have been Kozowski. What? He cracked my ID. You're a wanted terrorist. You're aware of this, right? No, they're looking for you, Richard. If I were you, I'd disappear ASAP. Okay, Steve. Thanks. Take care. You too. If they've been uploaded and Breakpoint finds the servers... I must go to Montauk. Now. Is there a problem, sir? I have to go. Not a word to anybody, okay? Delete your records. Go into standby mode. Sir, may I ask you something? Uh... Could you please reinstall my memory module? Uh... All of us need our memories, don't you think? Okay, wait a second. There you go. Thank you, sir. Is something wrong? It's an empty module, sir. It contains no data. That can't be. You reformatted the module. No, uh, why should we? Steve just... he couldn't have. Maybe he made a mistake. Is there a backup somewhere? You've got servers, right? Not anymore. Not for me. What are you missing, then? I don't remember, sir. Okay. Listen, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not your fault, sir. Still. Don't worry. I still work, sir. When will you be back, sir? I don't know. I wish you good luck, sir. I'll need it. Thank you, Simon. In Berlin, the terror wave pulsing through the Western world is not letting up. Fatal explosions have rocked many locations in the territory within the last 24 hours. The police reported that a pattern for the attacks is emerging. Apparently, the terrorists are focusing on safety-relevant computer architecture, some of which is classified. Lydia. Hey, nice of you to call. Listen, Lydia, I'm in some trouble here. You have to help me. Uh-huh. What's up? I have to tell you in person. I'm coming over. Oh, really? When? I'm catching the next train. Wow, it must really be urgent. Can you come pick me up? Of course. You're not angry anymore? I'm looking forward to it. Okay, I have to go. Bye. You are at your destination. Your account has been charged 25 credits. everywhere. Attention, this is the final call for passenger Fred Collins, booked on flight Skyway 3202 to Paris. Please proceed to gate A immediately. Newsflash from The Voice, your trusted source of news for Berlin and the Western world. In Berlin, the terror wave pulsing through the Western world is not letting up. Fatal explosions have rocked this many locations in the territory with the diaspora. The police Sky reported that a pattern for the attacks four, four, is emerging. Two, Apparently, the Please terrorists are focusing on safety relevant computer architecture, some of which is classified. In Berlin, NanoScan, the technology used for collecting molecular genetic data from applicants for the Martian...
Cuban colony program is to be expanded again today. The news was announced by the president's avatar during his speech for the inauguration of Mobility Port 2. The data collection is important for health insurance, from which, as the president pointed out, non-colonists will also benefit. In Washington Neverland, the successful online world is under threat of closure. Investigative authorities reported that Attention. the game, quote, this is the was a communicational and organizational hub for cyber terrorists Got and criminals. Fans One, and two, players of two, the game are protesting the planned shutdown. In New York, deliveries of the Android Base 6 model are to begin in the next few days. Kurtz Robotics say the new model comes connected to the network, making the Base 5 bots obsolete. Owners of older models can salvage parts, such as limbs, for their new bots. To launch the new series, authorities have set up collection points where old bots can be disintegrated or disposed. For souvenirs or snacks for your travel, please visit our ample shopping area. Attention, this is the final call for passenger Rose Port, booked on flight Skyway 354 to London. Please proceed to gate A immediately. Please do not leave your luggage unattended. Why not enjoy the 
Richard? How's it going? Trouble with the police, huh? What do you want from me? Not enough for you that you created this whole damn... I just want to say goodbye. What's that supposed to mean? A few unfortunate things have happened, Richard. You don't think? We contacted Charlie. And? I've got other things to care about right now. He was in front of the present. Our contact lasted 20 seconds, and then he was deleted. <laughs> Someone must have snitched. Somebody that was in the know. I have nothing to do with this. You're the only one who knew about Charlie. But I didn't do it. I mean, it couldn't have been me. Kurtz might have squeezed him for information. We have to strike now. Our partnership is over. Wait a moment. The fake ID will be deleted. When? I've already given the order. It won't be long now. So best of luck, Richard. Ah! Adam, what the hell is going on? What did you do? I made a decision. Decision? Do you know what you've done? It's my death sentence. Our death sentence. I, you, we. Who is it you're talking about, Richard? Yeah. I betrayed Charlie. This bombing cannot happen. And it will not happen. Adam, listen to me. I saw your world. I observed your life. Your entire sad existence. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, that connects us. On Sunday, City 5 will be cut off from your servers. And I... I will stay here. You can't be serious. My family is here. My son is here. He is not your son! From today, he is. And an hour from now, I'll have forgotten all about you and your world. And I can't wait. Adam! Connection failed. Damn it. Okay? You look really tired. Let's go. Can you navigate to this address? My augmented view is dead. That's Montauk. You think they're there? I don't know what to think anymore. What's with your ID? Deleted. Hmm. That's why you need me. Lydia, please. I promise, promise you... Promise me nothing. I'm coming because I want to, not because you want me to, okay? Okay. A call to war incited by terrorist Luddite group Breakpoint on The Voice yesterday triggered the attacks. A government spokesperson called upon the citizens of the West to remain calm and support safety personnel. Looks abandoned. I don't have a great feeling about this. Just stroll in. I don't know. Doesn't look like we should. I bet they're prepared for attacks. Do you think we should turn back? You can't. What about Tracy and James? Come on.
Nobody's here. Something's not right. Expecting you. One moment, please. You. Uh, uh. It won't be long now. Don't be afraid. Where is Tracy? Where's my kid? What the hell is going on here, Mr. Nolan? Please. What did you do to him? You were right. He doesn't get it. Thanks for bringing him here. What? I'm sorry, Richard. I. I... Your little friend is one of our products, Mr. Nolan. Artificial. Like this one. <laughs> Grab him! Get him to the upload unit. Deactivate his cloud call module. Lydia! I'm sorry! What's going to happen to him? Don't you worry about that. <coughs> Will he... Do you want to kill him? We're going to take care of him. That cough doesn't sound good. I'd say you live on borrowed time. Then perform the transfer, like now. All right, the transfer. Oh, look, Lydia, we've decided to go another route. What do you mean? We don't have any more bio-avatars left for you, unfortunately. We need them all, every single one. I bring you Richard. You give me a new body. That was our deal. Deal's off, Lydia. <coughs> you can't just do that. I wanted to do it, trust me, but Dr. Kurtz... You can't! Dr. Sykes, please. I'm very sorry. I can offer to shut you down. With medication, so you don't feel anything. You want to help me kill myself? It's up to you. You'll die anyway. Just an offer. Hello, Ray. No, not yet. You want to shut me down? We'll see about that. Maybe I can mix a little sleeping potion. Ray, we really have done everything. B -b Let me just ex... Now that's not so. It's I not so just easy, kill. unfortunately. No, no, it's not Valerie's fault. We just don't have a tested safety mechanism for a situation like that. Nobody could have known that. Breakpoint must have found a back door in the... No, no, it's like a Trojan horse. Once it's in the system, you just... <sighs> he could be anywhere. All right. I understand. Okay. It's, uh... Uh-huh.
Sykes's code card. Huh, something's written on the back. Imagine. Hi, Valerie. I'm, uh, okay. Just to go over this again. All artificials will be transferred to Mars Station? All of them? Seriously? Our products may not be able to save the world and all. Okay, okay I get that. But giving it all up just so some rich kid will have a backup body? I'm sorry, but I just don't get it. What about a backup for everyone who's staying? Richard, I'll get you out of there. I'll fix this. Maybe I can shut him down, but how? I need a weapon. This stick should be long enough, but... Jeff? Yes? I told you, no talking to the test subjects. I didn't say anything. What would I say? I don't know anything, anyway. And this woman, well, what's so great about her? What do we need her for? You needn't know everything. You must be patient.
shock stick. Come on. Yes! I hope nobody heard that. Enter your password. Okay. There he is. Almost done, Richard. I'll help you. God.
They've actually uploaded her. Upload failed. Secondary data rejected. Replacement avatar provided. What the hell did they do to her? Where's James? I need to unlock the doors first. sleep chambers. Richard, you idiot! They loaded them onto a sky whale. Atlantic Sky Whale M688. Via Berlin. Halt! Please! Shit! Put your hands up! Please! Okay, okay, wait! Don't shoot, okay? won't be able to shut them both down. But this, I can do. What the? And it's lights out. Hey, what the hell is going on here? Greetings, everyone. It's a pleasure having you here. This here is an upload unit. I'm sure many of you can't wait to try it out for yourselves. At the moment, we're uploading 750 people a day. All of them are carefully chosen candidates that want to start afresh that want to build a better world. You, our investors, will be in the best company. As you know, our project has entered a decisive phase. The autonomous power supply is complete, and all data networks are ready to be separated. We are on the brink of success as successful as the results of our AI project. Would you like to take a look? This is him. This is James. We have worked for years on his synthesis. He was born, like you and I, naturally from a real woman's womb, and he has had a proper childhood. If I may say so, he has far outreached our expectations. And we uploaded both him and his family last week. In City 5, his development will be exponential. He is the blueprint of our future. A quantum leap of intellectual evolution. Why does it have to be a child? Our AI needs to develop morals before it overcomes the limits of our mind, don't you think? Let me show you. Imagine this to be the potential of our human brain. Now this is what James' brain will be capable of. 
So far, so good. But how do you benefit from this? See what will happen to your brain patterns in a virtual environment. Your mind will know no limits. Your life will know no limits. In City 5, all of you will be perfect. Richard! Thank God, I thought you were... Don't touch me! And now get out of my sight. Richard, please. I mean, I, I totally understand, but give me a chance to fix this. <coughs> you had your chance. Get lost. <coughs> Go, leave already, and quit the theatrics with your coughing. <coughs> Lydia, cut it out. I... Lydia? Lydia! Damn it! Hey, are you okay? Will you be okay? Oh god, you're bleeding. Yeah, that's normal. I don't have much time left, you understand? You're not even 30. That's quite old for someone like me, Richard. What's going on with Tracy and James? They've uploaded them into their VR. But that doesn't matter anymore. James is... I know. I saw the speech via the monitors. He's artificial, Lydia. Some kind of super AI. What are you going to do now? I'm going to join Breakpoint and blow it all up. James is still your son, Richard. One way or the other, you can't just sit here. Maybe their bodies are still around somewhere? They put them on a sky whale for Berlin. Then come on, let's find them. The station is being evacuated, Lydia. They're taking everything with them. Then we have to take the same route as them. How do you imagine we'll do that? Come on, Richard. <coughs> we can do it. Look at this. Their databases. Huge ones. Dataverse. Move scan, cloud scan, Robodat. My god. They scan everything. You know Move Scan. It's the database with body movement profiles. Steve did a search with it for me. Cloud scan saves all communication that happens in the cloud. Robodat. I've never heard of that one before. It's a database of all bot recordings. Do you understand? Everything that bots, drones, cabs and hollow lenses see and hear, sense and do, that is all saved here. All with keywords, with IDs, content tags, locations, buildings, times. You can reconstruct anyone's life with all that information, even someone who doesn't use AR. You can create a whole simulated world. We 
could upload ourselves. What the? Why not? I'd be alive, you'd be with your family again. That's not real life, Lydia. And how do you know that this life is real? Let's just get out of here.
There's Tracy. She looks peaceful. Yeah, as if she were dead. Don't look at me like that. You'd be more than happy. Don't say such a thing. Tracy, how could you? I'll get you out of here, okay? I'll get both of you out of here. Here, I found James. W what Don't you recognize him? I do. But I'm not sure I know who he is. You were right. I need to get James out of there. No matter what they've done to him. Oh, well, but how? We can't carry them. And even if... We have a bigger problem. Breakpoint. If they find City 5 servers, we'll lose Tracy and James. We have to get to Breakpoint's headquarters somehow. They'll kill us. Maybe we can make a deal with them. Obviously, they found a way to upload themselves. Maybe they can download people, too. And Tracy and James? We're going to have to leave them at the airport. We'll think of something. Digitalism humiliated people. It oh made God. humans. What's going on here? It's war. Breakpoint is serious. What do we do now? We won't last an hour out here. The old subway tunnels. We'll never the make digital it richer. It's our only chance. Come on. The leaders of the digital revolution dreamed of the singularity. The final. Is he dead? Oh God. Come on, let's go! My God. And what now? How are we going to find these people? All I know is that they're hiding somewhere in the tunnels. Those are not exactly small. Cyborgification, nanogenetics, and AI have split our society in two. The digital revolution promised happiness and abundance. But it brought us delusion, class warfare, Racism and war. That way. Breakpoint. They must have come through here. This cloud call module won't activate. What do you want to do with your house robot? He has to bring us James and Tracy's cryo containers. We need their bodies. 
And you want your bot to help you? He's called Simon. <coughs> <coughs> How do we get across? There's that symbol again. It's stuck. Of course I'm scared. I'm here, okay? I'm with you. Let's just try and make it to Breakpoint. Maybe they can help you. Stop it. I'll be happy if they help you. I'm not sure if I want them to. He's dangerous, you know. James? A super AI. Rapidly evolving. Well, he'll need the right father then. Maybe the bot can help us reach Simon. Hey, can you hear me? I can. I have to reach my house robot. Can you help us? Use my system to access the bot network. Take my transmitters. Leave one here in the grid. Place the other close to the surface. That will work. Thanks. One here in the green. Place the other close to the surface. Let me go up. I can at least stay in contact with the bot when I'm up there. Five's ID. Can you establish a connection? Simon, it's me. Mr. Nolan, you are using an illegal ID. I'm on the run, Simon. I know, sir. The forensic department was here and read my memory. Of course. I am sorry, but I could not stop them. Don't worry about that. You have to help me, Simon, right now. I've found Tracy and James. They're in cryosleep chambers at the Moport. So they have applied as colonists. You have to bring them to us. Can you do that? Where, sir? I'll send you the coordinates. It is against the law. You have to rescue Tracy and my son. I will be caught immediately. I've sent you an illegal ID. 
I have to think about it. Simon, please. This way. We can't get through that way. But it's the right direction. I'll think of something. Come on. We have to find a light switch.
I never thought I would have come to this. What do you mean? Tracy betraying me, everything falling apart. You betrayed Tracy too. Yeah. I just wanted to escape from all that, you know? I couldn't breathe anymore. It was the same with her. Oh really? But you're completely different, right? You want another life too. Everybody does. You, me, Tracy, all the people that got uploaded to City 5. And what about those who can't afford to upload themselves? Them too. There's that symbol again. There, above the carriage, some sort of hoist. Come on, let's find a way there. Can you make it? Mm-hmm. We should split. Trapped! Maybe I can help! It's open! I'm coming! Up ahead. That must be it. Okay. So are we going in? What if they shoot? I should go first. No. Forget about it. I'm going first. Don't be an idiot. I'm as good as dead anyway. Lydia! Nobody's there. I can't believe it. Look, here. In that chair. That's Jeff. Jeff Kozowski. He's not moving. Is he alive? It's an upload unit. They actually managed to build one. Do you think it works? Seems to. His body is alive, but he is, isn't here. So, he's up there, in City 5. Yep. He's on his mission. Looking for the servers. If he finds them, it's all over. He's so familiar. Let's cut off his way back here. Come on. <sighs> all right, 
right, Jeff. Now you're stuck up there. Unless he finds another body to download into. But not here. We're in charge of what happens here now. If we want to download Tracy and James, we need to find out how to do it. Even if we could, their bodies aren't here. Simon, send him the coordinates. Do you really think he'll do it? He'll do what is right. Okay, we have to find out how this whole thing works. Look at this. Those are the Montauk databases. Part of them, anyway. Kazowski must have stolen them. These are the VR plans. There's a download interface in a big building in the center. The dome. That's where John needs to go. I have to talk to him. Do you have his contact? Yep. Here. are working again. John! Thank God. Listen, we don't have much time. A man, someone from Breakpoint, is up there with you. If he finds the servers... He won't. He's not smart enough. He's human. Human? What do you want from us? What I want? What I mean is... I saw the recordings you sent. You have? But that's fantastic! And? Do you understand now that we- I understand. For the better. Is- is something not right? Is there something you want to ask me? I've seen you. With her. Your lover. What? Oh, oh, but that- that is not- not- not you what despise, you despise, Mom. You hate me. So what do you want from us? No! What makes you say that? She wasn't pretty enough for you. You didn't want a child. You don't want us. And we don't want you! John, you can't have seen that in the recording. It didn't happen like that. You are my family. I have to go. John, I swear to you- I'm sorry. John, wait! Lydia, I'm sorry. <coughs> I am sorry. He was completely right, Richard. You did say all that. I said much more than that. Even if there are things you can't simply take back. Uh, I can't take it anymore. I need to find that data. He needs to watch it again, all of it. What you uploaded for Adam... Was the data from this database. Yes! Got it. Sometimes I think he's not really my son. As if she just inserted him into my life. That really does sound awful. Does James know? God, no. Well, maybe he senses it. I don't know. You don't love your own son? No, of course I love him. I love him more than anything else in the world. I want to get closer to him. I want us to be... Father and son, for us to be happy. You get me? Yes. Richard was right. Don't you get it, Henry? He didn't lie. I remember now. Remember everything. But John, if you're not real, then I can't be your friend. That hurts my feelings. Feelings come out of your happy brain, remember? I am real. I'm just not real here. I have to go back. To my family. My proper family. I have to call Richard. That's an object from the real world. I can see it. I can see the other side. What exactly did you watch there at Adam's Cloud Hub? I could tell you another story. Or we could paint a picture together. 
or play a game. Henry, there's no point in telling me a story or painting or playing with me because I'm not me. You have to help me. I have to talk to Richard. Sorry, no connection could be made. Contact City 5 Services if this condition continues. Come on. We could go visit Dr. Sykes. Dr. Sykes is your friend. He can help you. You have to help me, Henry. Everyone else is a liar. Dr. Sykes, the governor, Amy, Adam, they all lie. The bot network. Maybe it'll work with the bot network. But I'm just a toy, John. I have no access to the higher levels. Imagine the network as a big onion. Not now, Henry. I need to restore the connection. John, it's late. You should be in bed. Sally, can you access your network? Can you bypass the locks? I'm sorry, John. I can't help you. I am damaged. Someone will come to pick me up. What do you remember, Sally? Who are you really? I'm your nanny, John. Who else? But I'm damaged. Not able to compute. If I disappeared, would you be sad? Of course. Even if I was some other kid? I do not know. I am your nanny. I am pre-programmed for you. I think you're more than my nanny. I do not understand, John. You're not damaged, Sally. You're just not yourself anymore. Just like me. There are differing opinions about that. I think I know who you are. I think you're not even a robot. Of course I am, John. A Y-series android. Forget all of that. Would a robot break a glass? No. Maybe you did, because you're not a robot. Or because I'm damaged. She doesn't believe me. I have to try something else. Damaged robots must be reported and recalibrated. Do you see? It's home. I can see it. I can see everything now. You see? That's us. You and me. No. Look at it. No. This man. Do you recognize him? No. What do you feel when you see him? I do not know. I feel something. I'm not sure what it is. Do you know what this is? A memory module. From the Base 5 series. Old. You have a module like this. Do you think this is you? A small metal box? I do not know. My ring. That is my ring. Sally, robots don't wear rings. No. I do remember. Therefore, I must be damaged. Do you remember this? This item is not in my database. But the melody. Do you remember the melody? Yes. I believe I do. Johnson. It's, it's my fault. Sally? James. James, I'm so sorry. James? It was an accident. I couldn't rescue you. I tried, but... 
There was just so much blood. But I'm still alive. They said they could help you. What should I have done? I had to believe them. I am here. You did rescue me. It's not the same, James. Being here and being alive is not the same. Then let's go home. Please, you have to disrupt the bot network. We have to talk to Richard. Please, Mom. I am ready. Thank you. I now have full access to family data. Richard. James, my God. Uh, listen, I understand that you... It's really not what it looks like. I know, Dad. I saw it all. <sighs> yeah? And? You told the truth. Yeah. But you shouldn't have done it, despite everything. I know. Let me make it up to you. Make everything up to you. I miss you, kid. Come home. I don't know if that's possible. And I don't know if I can. You can. We'll help you. Okay? Mom's here too, but she isn't quite herself yet. We have to get you to the dome. Wait here. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Hey there, kiddo. Hey, Dad. What are you doing? Hide and seek with Henry. That's nice. Listen, I, uh, I won't be coming home tonight. Amy and I are at the opening of Project Independence. Will you be okay alone? Sally will take care of you. It's okay. Great. Stay in the apartment, okay? You'll be needed. Okay. Hmm? hmm? What, John? Goodbye. <laughs> John, we'll see each other again tomorrow. Behave, okay? It's the clinic bots. Henry, you have to win some time. Your father would not like it, John. Adam isn't my father. Lock the door. Betty? It's me, You Henry. have a new message from Aunt Joan. I can't. John isn't here. Hello, John. It's your great Aunt Joan here. How are you? I thought maybe we could play a game together today. Give me a call if you want to. I'm too small to open the door. I don't know who locked it. Who would want to lock me in? I know, Betty. Some humans are very irresponsible. I'd love to, Betty, but John isn't here. He's outside. I don't know. I'm just a toy. I'm afraid we're talking in circles, Betty. Betty? get ahead of ourselves. Don't be unreasonable. John, you can't fly alone. Mom? She has shut herself down again. Should I try to wake her? There's no time. She'll catch up. Let's go, Henry. We 
can still turn around. Do you know what you're getting into? What did you mean when you said, let's go home? This is your home, John. And why does Sally call you James? John? There's no doors here. And there'll be a good reason for that. Look, John, you tried everything, but now it's time to go home. James, is everything okay? Where are you? I'm in the dome, but I can't go any further. There's no doors. Okay, it'll be fine. Maybe I can help you from here. It's true, no doors. Seems to be some sort of safety system. But the code is infinite. I see it. I can guide you. What? John? What the hell? That's... He's changing the code? Wait. What's this? Room layouts. I think I can change the structure of the rooms from here. I don't know how you did it, John, but it worked. Do you see the marks on the floor? Stand there. When I change the room, you'll be safe. Maybe another layout will get us further. It's working! There's a shaft here now. Hmm. Through that very tight shaft? Great. But how does John come here now? Try a different room, Dad. Wait a moment. Maybe it's one of the other versions. John, I don't think I was made for these kind of tasks. Through the shaft, you say? What about now, John? Now? What now? What now? I can't see a way on the other side. Trust me. Back, Henry. I'll do the rest. Try to wake Sally. But somebody has to take care of you, John. Richard will. Goodbye, Henry. John!
John, my boy, what are you getting up to? Today is a big day. You should be at the Infinity Plaza. With your father. With me. It's over, Richard. Don't you understand? John belongs here. Dad? Yes, it's over. Breakpoint will destroy your project. Breakpoint? Let him go. That was close. Maybe we should disconnect now. No, I'll take care of it. I'll head down again. Take care of the kid. Let my boy go! James, keep calm. Stay with me, John. Hey, am I interrupting? Charlie! We deleted him! That's Jeff. Hey, Richard. How... Uh... Oops. Sounds as if I should leave you alone. Jeff, call your people back. Stop this! Sorry, but there's nothing left to be discussed. I just sent over the last server IDs. Everything will be over in a couple of minutes. And you? You have a front seat for the apocalypse. Be happy that you're not up here. Get off. I need the chair. Raymond! He's escaping! Sorry, kid, but th this thing here, there's no future in it. I'm afraid there's no going back, Jeff. What? Your body. It's here. Next to the port. You're at breakpoint. Maybe there is something to discuss. Amy! I'm here. What's going on over there? <laughs> Very clever, Richard. But I think I found a body. Stall him. I'll be with you in a second. <laughs> oh no, Raymond. I'll be with you in a second. No! He's... he's gone. He downloaded himself. What? In whose body? Raymond! Hey, how's it going up there? Don't worry. Two minutes into your deliverance. Okay, do what you want. She also wants to escape. Let her. We'll get you quicker. <coughs> I can't go on anymore. Lydia. Upload me. What? Do it. Please. We're losing too much time. <coughs> My god. Okay, quickly. Come on, come on. Good luck, kiddo. What? Lydia? Hey, I am... I'm here. Don't worry. Who... who are you? That's Lydia, James. I'm alive. Sir? Simon, finally! I have the bodies.
James. Mom! Mom is here! I couldn't leave you here alone. Richard? Lydia, we have the bodies. We have to get James into the chair. Come now! Go. Go to your father. Ready? Yeah. James? Dad? There you are. Welcome back, James. Sit in the chair, Lydia. I'll get you out of there. We have to get Tracy into the chair. I want Mom to go. That's not your... It's... She's just a... a fragment now. Don't you love her anymore? James, listen. Don't you want her to live? Sir, I am afraid we're out of time. Lydia. Okay, I'm ready. Richard, this is unbelievable. The city's collapsing. Was his decision. There's nothing we can do. Maybe we could. I could download it. To me. What? The, the whole city? The amount of data is too much. I can do it. You could die, James. I won't allow it. He's not real, James. He doesn't exist. Adam doesn't exist? I have to try. Let him, Richard. Fine. Okay. Then try. Okay. Let's go. Go? Where? Home. 